12 for Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal, only on Styles FM. Ding, ding. I tell you, good night, good night, and welcome to Real Talk. Of course, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Of course, I want to call this one the Christmas edition of Real Talk. You're listening, of course, to my co-host is Daddy Rude, and I am Lady Cleo. So tonight, we go through the program from now until 12 midnight. And let me just pause to Welcome our boyfriend and girlfriend and all the tourists, them, and all the picnic, them, mommy and daddy, everybody who have come home to Jamaica for the holidays, yeah? Good to have you here. And of course, I hope you enjoy all the excitement, all the giving and sharing and loving, you know, that will be going on throughout this very holy season. So, of course, again, welcome to Jamaica. Welcome home. And, of course, to all our beautiful listeners, all our wonderful listeners, those who are not able to come home for Christmas, but you're home right now because you're, of course, on the World Wide Web or you're listening via the app. Yeah, you're still here with us tonight. We're glad to have you on board. And all our yardies who are right here in Portland, Jamaica, yeah, welcome to Real Talk tonight, and those across the length and breadth of this beautiful island, welcome to the show. Our friends in St. Mary, St. Thomas. Last week, I just had a throwback week with my friends from way back hooking up on the show in St. Thomas. And of course, I was in St. Thomas yesterday. I left there today. And I was in Whitehall. So big ups to all the people right now listening in Whitehall or wherever you are in the parish of St. Thomas. Big ups to you. Or St. Mary friends, right? Big ups as well. People from Clarendon, all the Clarendonians, yes. And all those in Westmoreland and all over Jamaica. Big ups to you tonight. Now, Daddy Road, and I must say that tonight he's going to be on is very best of behavior. Can I tell you? He has to be. He really, really, really has no choice tonight. So I don't think I'll be giving him much of a cough tonight. Um, you know, the beautiful Lady J is in the house. Well, she's not in the house now, but she's nearby. And I know she'll be listening, or she is listening. So Daddy Rude cannot. Gracie, can I tell you? He has to be on his prim and proper behavior tonight or else. And can I tell you how great I feel to know that in Kian Road tonight or else hmm, a spanking for him. And a whole heap of things he's going to be deprived of if he's rude tonight. So, that road. <laughs> how you do? You know. You look very tense. No. You're under manners. No. Yes, you are. Talk truth. You know, my daughter asked me today, why do they call me Daddy Rude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you couldn't answer, right? <laughs> I said it's just a name. <laughs> a politically correct answer. <laughs> I said it's just a name. <laughs> I'm because, sure as Moeny grows because, older, actually, she'll figure that it's not just a name. She was, she was listening to the radio when um, earlier today, um, DG said, and I know that she will text him and not Daddy Rude, and she shout out. <laughs> No, Huel is Daddy Rude. <laughs> I mean, I say, <laughs> I'm sure, as I said before, as Mo gets older, she said, now I know why they call my daddy, Daddy Rude. <laughs> 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 and can I tell you people, we in sync tonight, in some colors. We don't know, we are color coordinate. Yep. And we never plan, you know. None at all. It's a Christmasified thing in a way right now. Don't you feel Christmasish, don't it? I think I had a dream. Oh, Lord, I have a dream. Martin Luther. <laughs> <laughs> I said had. <laughs> had. <laughs> Look, you don't crack them tonight. <laughs> Too early. So we, we are color coordinating tonight. Buck up. So is it a great minds think alike? Or they say fool seldom differ. But because me is no fool, I'm going to go with great minds <laughs> think, think alike. alike. <laughs> of course, our engineering house tonight is none other than the silent assassin, Cassidy. Yep. Yeah. And uh, let me give you some housekeeping matters before we go into other business tonight. Oh, before I do that, let me just say a big ups to you, Mrs. Jackson. Yeah. Great seeing you. 
a beautiful face to look at. And I'm sure that the road agrees. I'm not sure if Mrs. J will say the same thing on about the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad tonight. I feel rude tonight. <laughs> taking st taking your, your spot, I guess. All right, so our local number, if you want to hook us up tonight, that number is 4531 4. That's 4531444. If you want to send us a regular text message, or a WhatsApp text, or to call the local number, right? That's the number to use. And the international number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And, of course, we have some numbers, <clears throat> sorry, for those who are in the USA, Canada, and the UK, if you're on the go and you wish to hook us up, those numbers are, for the USA, it's 712 Eight three two two seven seven two. In the UK, it's zero three three zero zero one zero three three two two. And in Canada, it's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. All right. And of course, remember the four five three number um, cannot take WhatsApp calls. All right. And now we go to our people on the social media pages. Yeah. You know that Styles FM large like that. <clears throat> so, uh, YouTube people, yeah, and you can watch previous shows. And this show will be posted later on. On YouTube, you can go to Styles FM Radio. And, of course, on Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. On Twitter, at Styles FM 961. And you can check out Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page. And of course, if you have not yet downloaded the two apps, we do have Styles FM Jamaica app and the Styles FM radio. radio app. Yeah, so you can't miss us. Really and truly, you can't miss us. Huh, some things know that the road. Yeah. <clears throat> Before I ask you what I'm going with you <laughs> differently. Um, I must say thumbs up to some persons. Like Mr. McPherson, who is just really, really locked in, despite all this tough social that they're having, or they were having earlier on, they're still finding the time to tune in to Styles and to Real Talk. So big ups to Mr. McPherson and the crew. Yep. Yeah, big up my London, massive every time. And I'm a part of a group. <clears throat> we are the PR team for the JTA. Okay. So all the parishes have their PRs who we are in a committee, are on a committee. And I tell you, the chair of that committee is um, Kadia McCullough. I think you might know her. <clears throat> she actually comes, is from Portland. Okay. So big ups right now to our chair and, of course, to Mr. Mr. Leon Nash. He's the host of Teacher's Time on RJR on four, at 4 o'clock on, on a Sunday. So mm -hmm. I'm a part of that group, and I must say big ups to my group. Unfortunately, we lost a member from St. Elizabeth, the PR from St. Elizabeth. Oh. We saw her last week, Monday, mm. for a meet, our final meeting and a social. And it's so unbelievable that on Tuesday, she passed away. Jano. Really, really oh, heartfelt, sad, very, very sad moment for us, for the PR, for the PR team. And I must say um, to everybody out there, you know, let's not take it for granted that each day that we see, you know, it's, it's, it's a new day and we must Real give thing. thanks Real and thing. ensure that we tell our loved ones how much we really, really love them and live, love and laugh as much as you can because you never really know. And another irony of it, Daddy Road, is that we were talking about writing wills mm -hmm. and she was telling us about the clause that should be in the will. Uh. Yes. And, you know, that was the part of it that was so painful was the things we were discussing and to know that I don't think she found the time or at the time, you know, to make some of these preparations and stuff. So we, we mustn't take anything for granted. All right, people? Big and serious. Real talk. Um, on Monday is Christmas Day. Yep. Um, on Monday, there will be Christmas in the park. Christmas in the park. Yeah, Neville Antonio Park. What's that going to be all yeah, about? Yeah, I know that they did an ad here. Um, the, the, the Sun Life group. Yeah. The one that put on that... Kid is fun day thing in August, man. Yes, yes, when yes, it comes yes. on to when it comes on to Sun Life Corporation Group, mm -hmm. 
they are no ordinary group, to be very honest with you. Nice. And I like them because they think outside the box. box yes. yes, that is true. They are no ordinary group. So, of course, there will be Christmas in the park. I saw the park, a glimpse of it earlier on this week. The lights are out. So, people, if you're wondering, oh, where do I take my kids this Christmas day? Look here, man. Neville Antonio Park will be transformed, I can tell you. Madly, and madly, I know madly, that madly, these madly, brothers madly, will be madly, bringing madly. it. So what, what will Christmas in the Park be about? Well, it's an entertainment package for the kids. Um, there'll be rides. There'll be a train. Choo, choo, choo. Yeah, going yep. through the park. Um, I'm sure they'll be having food on sale and stuff. Okay. All, all the rides for the kids will be there. So what time? Excitement. I think it's 4 o'clock. Yours truly will be on location, being all Chris. I'm all geared up for Christmas, can I tell you? So I'll be there with the kids having a whole lot of fun. Will you be dressed like an elf? No, I don't have any elf outfit. You can make one. Uh, <laughs> I'll already, my attitude will already be elfy. <laughs> I th I I'm think, goofy and crazy, I, I, so. I think, um, <laughs> And I'm gonna <laughs> and I'm gonna throw this out to like idea, yeah I'm gonna throw this out <laughs> to our to our um, listeners yeah um, because remember like the the stars of him theme colors are are this nice yellow this nice green color mm -hmm. and elf color is like that's this green yes that green Christmas yeah. green and red looking so thing if anyone anyone would want to donate nobody not have none Lady Cleo <laughs> Sandra Shelley and DG. <laughs> An elf outfit <laughs> with the stars logo on it. That would be so fabulous for next year, right? Oh boy! Right? I hear you. <laughs> Carla says I'm in charge tonight. Can I tell but, you, Carla? Ha, I am, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, Carla, you know, say a real <laughs> press button. <laughs> she is, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry on yourself, man. Don't worry on yourself. Everything's oh smooth. Everything's jiggy. Goodness. But even what I like about the kids' um, event is that just next door mm -hmm. by the um, Bikini Beach, there's also going to be Cooler's Fit. Mm. Right? And Cooler's Fit is, is, would be in the night-night. Night-night, right. You know, so from the kids to the adults. Right. You know, being at Cooler's Fit. And to my understanding, also Cooler's Fit is going to look really nice, nice. this year. Mm. Right? They, they have changed location from um, from Sunshine Beach. That's mm -hmm. the word? Sunshine Beach. Yeah. No, to Bikini Beach. So it's going to be a really nice is, is that for com compliment. Is no, that no, for no, 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 no. That's What's the name of it? Um, Cooler's Fit. Oh, Coolers. Yes, Coolers Fit. Schoolers or coolers? Coolers. Oh, with a with a C? Yeah, you know, like with a walk with a like with a igloo. igloo. Right? Okay, a I got you. Fit, um, you bring your own um drink. Oh. And you pay you pay. I think it's a thousand dollars if my memory serves me right. Mm -hmm. And you enter the the venue. They're gonna be a VIP um deck. You gonna get well. something to eat with that thousand dollars? Just checking. No, just a drink. You can, you you have to purchase the food. Come on. I'm just Listen, asking if I thought would give me anything to eat. No. Like any orders or no, anything like that. No. Okay. Um, the VIP, the VIP, um, you get something to eat, and that's I think is two thousand dollars for the VIP. So. Okay. Um, and I know on the VIP deck there's gonna be, um, their own bar, and mm -hmm. as well as their own um food serving counter. So, uh, VIP comes with that. Okay. All right, so parents out there and people out there, adults out there, you know that your thing is in the night, cool as fit, right? Yep. And please, for God's sake, I urge you, I implore you, bring the kids out if you've yep. never done so before. On Monday, yeah, let them get all dolled up and pretty and cute hey. and handsome and bring them out to Christmas me in remember, the park. Yeah, man, I true, man. Remember, yeah, me, man. Me, me remember back in the day, man, I told place me used to go, Mommy, you can't beat me. I know that I make you know. <laughs> Used yeah, to go. man, me also got, me, me, me also got, um, <laughs> where they sit name. I'm listening for this. A, a Coney Island, it didn't name back in the days. Uh huh. And me also play one something named Lucky Touch. Oh, Lord. right. You know, Lucky Touch Cassidy, when they used to have, have, have like one, you pay money and use one long stick and touch pan so, some little piece okay, of paper. Yes, and whatever is on it, you get and it. And whatever on it. One time, one time, win one Milo. I want, oh, I want condensed milk. Oh, Lord. Perfect combination right? to make tea. Yeah, for to make, make tea. hot beverage, yeah. Well, Anna, just before the break. <laughs> the other thing when we do, you <laughs> <used to> do. <laughs> but always, you, know, you, you know the one when they're at school with, with, with a big balloon? 
and you have to drop tear something with a big balloon. Mm-hmm. Nobody can win that big balloon. Eh. It was hard. Nobody win that big balloon. Only one balloon on there was so big. Yeah, but yeah. You, win, you will win the other balloon. Yeah, but you the can't win the big balloon. I try with it hard. Right? Hard, hard. I want to know if you remember that to the people. And one thing me also do. <laughs> me also go play a crowd around car. Me also gamble. You didn't win anything? Not really. You still one time and lose me. No go back. Hey, Kias, you, you used to play a crowd and anchor. Them know what they want to do. Them too tricky. <laughs> them tricky you know, people. When we return, we'll talk about a crowd and anchor business. You know. It is now 10, uh, sorry, nine. it is now 9.30, ladies and gentlemen. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Service. We're so forward. Yep. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Still account all money I'm in a job in a new money yet Bingo fans check out the O-Line as the Oasis Sports Bar present Christmas Bingo Friday December 22nd Prizes include bath set, electric oven, blow up bed, vacuum toaster just to name a few not to mention the main prize of 150 US dollars Eyes down at 8 p.m. sharp. Ticket only 1,000. Place to be at the Oasis Sports Bar, Main Street, Obey. The management and staff of Styles FM would like to pause and express our gratitude and appreciation to our advertisers, sponsors, and listeners for their loyalty and dedication towards our company. Here's to another year of harmonious and prosperous association as we look forward to serving you even better for 2018 and beyond. May the spirit of the season be with you. Wishing you a 2018 full of happiness and success. Jatty the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Base with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Lord have mercy. My heart. Last month, them sent $30,000. And this month, I'm $40,000. What are you going to do? BMs, wake up, man. BMs, calm down, calm down. A simple something to fix. Me hurt. Make we call solar options. 8 Queen Street, man. They, they can fix all the highlight bill problems. Solar options? That sounds like a real plan. Get power from the sun. Solar Options and Electroworks Limited. Located at 8 Queen Street, Mark Bay, St. Thomas. Contact us at 982-2910. Solar Options. P- power from the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boston Beach Complex presents Aquatic Rush, the seven-day party series from December 26th through to January 1, 2018. Every day is a beach party. Bring the entire family. Lots of fun, lots of excitement, lots of giveaways. DJ Flair, DJ Mookie, DJ Sheppy, DJ Shaka Fame, and so much more. Music by Les 5000, Amazon International, and different strokes. Don't you miss it. Aquatic Rush, the second edition. Seven days of party on Boston Beach. You got to reach. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Rural Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. 
Welcome back to Real Talk. Off air is rather interesting, can I tell you? <laughs> and just before I go into this other part of our show, I must pause at this moment to say the biggest, one of the biggest big ups to this person. This person is just really, really cool, really, really down to earth. And there are listeners home and abroad who really, really, really just respect Picked this listener, this person, tremendously, and have asked me to make sure that I give that shout out to this person tonight. People, 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 the biggest of big ups tonight is in order for none other than my co host, Daddy Rude. Me? So, big up yourself, Daddy Rude. Yeah, man, you have listeners who say, Trust me, me rate him. Even you're chatting nonsense. Yes. <laughs> they rate your big time, big and serious. One of the big ups, of course, coming from Sivan over there in London. So to yeah. big you up. Yeah. Jano. Yeah. Respects are Why? high me, me, me for you right now. So. I mean, give thanks. Me yeah. They, me they pay attention me to know. something else. And, and, and I expect <laughs> like somebody else gave a car. But me, you know, you know, I know when, right? when I have award ceremony there, they're like... <laughs> And of course, to some give of my thanks, other thanks, avid thanks, listeners give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. in Atlanta, I can't leave out Diane, I can't leave out Vivian, Shelly, big up yourself, and of course, Chicken, yeah, and the crew, um, right now, I'm sure they are out and about, and yeah, engaged, and of course, Jason, big up yourselves, guys, all the very best for this holiday, all right? I, yeah. I got a um I got a WhatsApp message during the break and to be honest with you my whole my whole childhood oh just, just 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 mash up a while ago. Yeah. Me I learned say the balloon business, the the the, the pick balloon business. <laughs> said so the people I used to take out the one with the big balloon first. Mm-hmm. So no matter how you pick, oh. you can't get the big balloon. You can't win I the big see. balloon. That's not nice. Yo, me I tell you, sister. <laughs> but it makes sense still, you know. Because if the big balloon gone, nobody, nobody is enticed right. to, to want to play yeah, or buy anything. But, well, it, it just mash up my thing. But me I talk about the, um, the sitting there, where you name? Where you name? Crown and Anchor. <laughs> so... You have two, about two types of crown and anchor. You have one with the single dice and one with the double dice. Then time the 50 cent added whole per, whole per money. 10 cent. Mm -hmm. Cassidy, why most you ever win on crown and anchor? You used to have the paper one dollar and the paper two dollar them time there. So long time business. That's a long time, man. Yeah, man. Long time, long time, long time, long time. Long time like when you, you just born. I pay it one time and then teeth me. So you win $150 road, boy? What do you say? No oh, yeah, some man, right now, road boy. Mm. Yo, if me, if me did a part and you win $150, I have to organize. <laughs> and wait for your, for your last, that. $150? <laughs> but then, me never think I ever win more than probably $2, and me lose it back. <laughs> Seriously? She just win and cut. Yo. You know, that Cronin that, yeah. that man, they must did Bex with you. <laughs> must Bex. Yeah. And it, it the road, and you left same time, don't? <laughs> <laughs> You're better? Yo, me didn't fool. Me now nah left more and win more. <laughs> Believe me. The good old days. Good old days. But right now still, me never know. You, you, you now see the Coney Island sitting again. You now see the Janko, no? Hey, what's the difference between masquerade and jankuno? Me always, me always try to figure out the difference. Uh, I don't know. Because them say them different, but me can't figure out the masquerade difference. Masquerade and jankuno? Yeah. They just look different, but it's the same kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, pitchy patchy too. I want different something that? I would think so. They're all a part of the same crew though. Jankuno. Or, or, or... No, yeah, yeah. Jank, one of our head something. Yeah, you have, you have, you have the one when you call belly woman and all kind of sitting yes. and blah, blah, blah. But me I say, them say Jankuno and Masquerade are two different something. Somebody from Morton maybe can call and tell me. Boy, I'm so afraid of them. I don't know about nobody else. I'm so afraid of them. Um, I don't, me, yeah. I think I used to be afraid of them when I was like really small and full full. Don't, don't, don't even bother think it. I see it in your face. 
<laughs> I see it on your face. Okay? <laughs> All right. So. As I grew older, really, nah, they don't really scare me, but... Some kids will be afraid because their face are, faces are all painted and they just look, making some crazy sounds and their clothes don't look right. You know, they're all pitchy patchy and some shake up, shake up something and look scary. Boy. And the masks and stuff on their faces. So, yeah, some kids would be afraid, but not everybody. Why the good old days? The good, good old, old days. days. Can I tell you? Days, oh, my short. goodness. The, the, them, the, them, them days, uh, you also make sure so you dress up the, your best and... Well, I mean, I know. I, I think kids now are enjoying what we but, used to enjoy. Yeah, we, we get yeah. um, older, more mature, so yeah. that, that kind of festivity there, you know. I still love it. We, we, Christmas. We have, it's we the best feel. time for me. Well, I wanted I, a white Christmas, but hmm, I started for the tropical one. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, I, you know, I me, the last two weeks it's cold. Me, you know, can't turn up. But there. I remember when my grandma used to do the chocolate tea thing and even mommy back then the chocolate yeah. tea but my grandma so, and my great grandma would uh, have the enamel mug yeah. you know the little chippy chippy enamel yeah. something something the man and the nice pudding and so you can make chocolate tea if we get the chocolate yeah then chocolate sell a market if we got grits and something there and go me no me no yeah. something every time me no, me no every time me hey. only can't find time to breathe properly, much less to go up greater hey. chocolate to make chocolate. I'm not hey. me not, me not, me not grown in about, about three weeks ago. And that did hot to see? Cheese, but not a tongue. Yeah, man. man. Can one sit in the pan top of it? The way. Yes. If, 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 one, one, one cream. One, no, no cream. One kind of custard. No, no, bun up. You bun up, my dear. No, man. man. <laughs> Bro. No, man. Yo, <laughs> my dear. You, you want to mash up my childhood thing, you, you know, know, my girl. What? When you drink it, it come on your lip. My girl, me say me. Like a little custard No, thing. no. No right. custard, like no the pan of chocolate tea. What you call that, no? No custard. Oil, one oil. Film. One, one film. Yeah, yeah, me work with film. <laughs> Which custard? <laughs> no man not take no custard. Yep, my girl. How custard it need? No, no, it can't name no sure. custard. It can't name custard. You know what? Big ups to, to the Jamaican AC Club crew. Yes, Fitzroy. Yes, you know, you Let you me change yes, the subject. Yes, Fitzroy yes, and, and Denise and, well and Gary. Boy. I'm a friend, Dan hey. Dan, DG Angel. How you doing, Gracie? Miss B. I'm trying to remember everybody for getting the Christmas big up in a car. My girl, you miss still some a custard. Because all my memories are my granny when he used to cool it and he have two Two, two plastic mug, throw in a one, they didn't throw in a the other Crack one, they didn't throw in a the one, they didn't throw in a the other Connecticut. one. And of course, Mel and Rochelle over there in New York. Yeah. And all the people them who text in right now. Yeah. See you, Carla. Denise in Barking Lodge St. Thomas, the stocking foot thing was exciting too. What's that? Stocking foot? Is the, it the, the gift, ball? The, the gift where you put in your stocking, man. Me know about that one there. You put a gift in a stocking foot, I think of that man. Eh, hey, gift? Mm -hmm. So people never see our. Me no know. Do you gift paper? Maybe me no know. Me never get. Not sure about that one me, there. Me, me never have them. Have them the kind of, you know. Merry the, Christmas to you too, Kevin, in Tampa, Florida. Of course, I'm bringing up the Styles family, sending greetings to us. Thank you, my friend. Respect, respect. used to play Corona Anka with paper, 15 cent. <laughs> oh, Ex Lord. Then good old days. Eh? The, the, oh, boy. The, you, know the, you know the red paper, 50 cent, and you know them something? No, yeah. the paper. Said, yeah, man, 50 cent, I did paper ah, $5. one time. $5. No, $5, I did paper one time, about 50 cent, I did paper one red. You one, know one that red one day? Mm-mm. Hmm. So Sadie in Rocky Point, hold up that thought, says, Good night, Lady Cleon Daddy Road. You checking in. Big up yourself, Sadie. Cleon James, Mr. James from Boston, Massachusetts, locked in. Big ups, Mr. James. Big up DJ. DJ four. four, five, six, seven, eight. I call him that all the time. Big up yourself, DJ four. But, all right. But you see still more and the people in general. Hopefully, we can find a more peaceful way for oh, this, yeah. um, next year because the crime thing looks so good. And mm -mm. you know, I'm not going to elaborate much on it, but we need, we need to find a way to resolve certain and certain things without forgetting um, physical and them things there. Yeah, you know, the good old days of spans our face, race, 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 race mother rat and all them sitting there. <laughs> It's like it can't work again. Too much ego again. Yeah. Thing, you know, and somebody wants to say, boy, them, 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 you know, I don't mean, know, I don't mean, know. Everybody yes, about, just too hot, you know. You know we, 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 need to find, we definitely need to find a way to laugh more. True. You know, we need to find a way to laugh more. Yes. Right? Because... 
too much there are so many other things around us where we can do things. Yeah. Um, be more positive with each other and assist each other for excel. True. But you know, we, we spend too much time and encourage negativity. Negativity and yeah. You know, in thriving the, instead on of telegraphy and say you're a rude boy, no, don't do it. You know, we try yeah. if we give tacit approval mm-hmm. towards them action and, and propel them. certain things. What do I have to tell you say yo papi? Eh, eh. You know, no bother with that. You know, real talk. In our day, them they, them say one bag of sitting a ship down from foreign to Jamaica. Why the person originally do that? Why? You know, I mean, why we we, we don't have enough problem already. You know, hmm. so if you take on some more and it, it it just it just can't worth it to maybe to a single individual. Yeah. You know, somebody might might might, might get some form of commerce benefit from it, but. From a nation standpoint, it can't work. You know, th- there is no um, positive outcome. Real talk. And on, and on that note, we just want to add, and of course, big ups, big ups to Bright Yeah. He's asking the motorist to take it easy on the road. Real thing, man. No unnecessary overtaking or no unnecessary, you know, bad driving and fast driving. Because really, the season, during this time, man. really, a lot of people lose their lives. Yeah, man. And all them thing there. Yeah, if you're going to drink, level. don't drive. People, please drink responsibly. True. And if you're in a vehicle and it's not going right, you not going to look right to you, get out of it. If the Simple. driver won't stop or won't slow down, all right? So big up yourself, Bright Eye. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder to the motorists. True, true. And of course, to all our friends over there in other parts of the island, St. James in particular, St. Catherine, yeah? Easy, easy. Hey, talking about drink and all of them sitting there. Uh, our two weeks or so was frosted. Mm-hmm. And myself, Sandra, Shelley, and Clayton went to frosted. Mm-hmm. So I was at the the sales FM booth and whenever them go look some food, they would carry some stuff for me. So one of the time I say, Sandra, I walk, I come back, she and she like, I walk, I come back and they may laugh and thing and Sandra have a banana. I guess a fruit fruits them I bring come. Mm-hmm. And the banana drop. Hmm. <laughs> 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 the banana Sandra walk with the banana in her hand and the banana drop. I don't know why the banana drop, but when they reach now, the thing she didn't know said so the banana drop. When they reached out, they must say, boy, um, daddy, whether you will carry them something I'll find out. Mm-hmm. Including the banana and me I laugh. <laughs> so I said, let me tell you something. I said, when the banana drop, you know why the banana drop? The banana see, I, I know when up and the banana say, brr, burn up. <laughs> 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 I just jump out of Sandra and oh, now nah, going Lord. a numb and mouth. <laughs> None tall. None tall. So I tell you, say, oh, them a plan. I want to know how to wipe out. Oh, boy. Simple. No bring no banana. Come get out of here. Don't the banana. No, say a bun up thing that. <laughs> no, do it. Looney Tune. <laughs> big ups. Big ups. Picture frame over there in White, White House. St. Thomas. True. Lady Cleo, way up. Positive talk. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Thanks to you too, my brother, and to all your peeps and your friends and everybody. Maury and the crew up there, yeah? True. Big up on yourself every time. Did you believe in Santa Claus? When I was a child, yes. And when I watched the movies yeah. and saw the, the sleighs and the reindeers, mm. yeah, I thought there might have been a Santa for real, but I really thought he was only subject to foreign and not to Jamaica. Well, because we had no chimney. We had no ch- exactly. We had no chimney. And I was smart enough to know that we didn't have any chimney, so he couldn't come here. <laughs> but as I grew older, it didn't take me very long to figure that that was just graphics. Hmm. Computer graphics. I don't think kids nowadays grow up <laughs> grow up under Santa Claus. Uh-uh. Um, I mean, I think nowadays, so. most parents don't bring the the Santa Claus myth to. To. Um, but the, I do believe that the, kids the, in the states, many of them, still grow up believing that there's a Santa Claus. Well, then can go and believe that. Because they do have the chimneys and they do see these movies and stuff. And, and, and then when they wake up in the morning, they see the gift and the stocking foot. Yeah, and um, at the fireplace and whatever, near the tree yes. and all these things. And he, he came through the chimney in the night and so on. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of cute, though. Back then as a child, kind of cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> George in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Pick up big yourself. Up, big up, big up. Yeah. Hey, me I said them places can get cold too, you know, over Cuba. Then, yeah. Yeah, man. Me mm. I said them places get cold. Mm. Not even death somewhere ago. <laughs> you can't man. manage the cold, right? You're mad. Manage your <laughs> man. Hey. I like it. Hey, well, I kind of hey, like Cassidy, it. One of the wickest bun up we reached me in England, you know, when, it, when, when the music have a weird long journey, you know. 
What's that? One tight sit, man. So that must be cute on you. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> 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 yo, I said, man. Um, yo, road boy, I said, you get called, man. Yo, you want to sit like tight, so then call <laughs> Long John. Under your hey. pants? Yeah. But, but it, nobody will see it. It no matter, but you know what I go on. And you know, I <laughs> say, I brave it out. I brave it out the first, the first semester, no, Cassidy. But when <laughs> trouble take you, <laughs> pick the short fit, fit you. you. Because you know, say, I, I really, the winter really kick in in a January, them time there, you know. Mm. Yo, road boy, I say, I have to run for a long journey in a store, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, but up wicked still. So but did you wear it by itself? Like, like several no, long johns by a, themselves? A, about two meters. Of. Oh, so you wear one and you put on the pants over it? Yeah, man, put on the jeans pants over oh, okay. it. So you can't, wear, you can't wear by itself? No, you keep your warm still, but you can't say, man, you say, boy, I'll have cat to check all daddy road and daddy road did have to do all something. Oh, mother look weird. <laughs> did eh? you say yuck? <laughs> 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 you see, Carla says definitely cute on him. No! Yes. You're mad. Yes. You're born up wicked, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Born up wicked star. <laughs> Nature calls that. Because in a, in a my natural state, never, <laughs> never would I do that. You see me? <laughs> me I tell you the truth. Me say me throw a stone behind me when when when, when uh, me, me done me exam them. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Mad. Oh, La Cassidy. Me I tell you the truth. Right so you've now. never had to wear a long john in the states. You've never been there during the winter. No, sir. Never, never, never in a winter business. Okay. Never in a winter business. Friend, the weather start feeling when we know say it's time to go home. Time to go home. Yeah, man. Okay, sir. I mean, I spend more than two weeks up there. None at all. <laughs> None at all. I'm a pop from about nine days. Oh boy. So. You know, big up all of the people um, straight up and I say we suppose all our reason and uh, next week if anything about this whole crime thing uh, cause it never looked pretty. Mm. It never looked pretty none at all and I even know what I go on in the next year, but we have to do something unitedly. Have to do something yep. unitedly. So ladies and germs, <laughs> we have a serious box pop we talk about tonight. Mm-hmm. Right, because <laughs> a lot of persons take um relationship a little bit casual. Oh, yeah. Right? And relationship... Should not be seen as a casual no, thing. Never. Never. No matter how much you as an individual say you're going out for certain things, the other person, the other person might unite for more than just what you yeah. have in your mind. True. You know? And at the same time, you don't know if you is meeting that person's um, expectations. expectations. Initially, you know, when you have a conversation, I want to meet up, and if you go up on a date, I want to go buy two jerk chicken and, 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 and sit down on a little can and all the reason, and I want to talk about some common things. Mm -hmm. And everybody appears to be intelligent, and, and, and them headspace space upon them and them something. Then. But when you start we out over time, you start we out certain things and you reflect on certain conversations and certain actions you say to yourself, self, say, boy, Jano, you know, wonder if I this is what I really and truly want. Hmm. You know? So, when one person might into it, another person might be the iffy. Right? Hmm. One person might want more out of it, but the other person just said, if it probably like a little short intention. Ah, something they know. See me? But, during the initial state of meeting and the butterflies in our stomach, it's a whole hmm. different ball game that. Oh boy. And hmm, some of the time, what you call first base? What do you first base? We never get a party. Kissing. Party, and what you call second base? I guess touching. Well, we, 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 we get a call. We go on set. I hear what I go on. We go on set. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello. Hello, caller. Good night. All right. I think. Call All right. I think we. Yeah. All right. Yes, Daddy Road. Back to your question. Eh. Hey. No, may I say? Oh, I want Cassidy. I said that overnight. Yes, it's kind of. Yes. Right, so sort that out. So may I say? I, I re, I'm, I'm not really sure if there's a way to strike a balance of how much you disclose 
initially as to where you want and what stage of the relationship you have to reach before you recognize that this is not for me or you start have reservation. Mm -hmm. As I said, the first base thing, and I uh, made the ask though. Yeah, second base, I guess, is um, <coughs> touching. And then third base, I guess. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, what point do you think that you've made a mistake? And, and is it actually a mistake? You know, the question you've asked is an interesting one. However, I think for some people, the mistake can come, discovering that they might have made a mistake, quote unquote mistake, could come far in. Mm. After you've gone through several umpteen third bases and probably even children come in the picture. Mm, true. Yeah, so for some people, they, they detect it earlier out. But then some people will find out that, boy, I don't think this was the right thing at all after years. Hmm. And years could mean two, three years, five years, ten years. After all, but yeah. time investment go on and I Yeah, because but I think people evolve but as relationships you, progress. At what point is it worse? Is it is it worse um, after a longer time or is it worse in you know, that initial butterfly stage? I think it's, it's, it's worse after a longer time because by that long period, within mm. that long period... You probably would probably you would have accomplished a lot together, or maybe not, and you feel like your years have been wasted. If, yeah, if you haven't accomplished anything, well, you feel like your years have been wasted. While if you had cut earlier, may agree with you. May, may agree with you. You don't want to, do you? But do no. you? Want, no, no, <laughs> don't push it. Remember, Miss J is here. Miss J is here. Don't push it. Don't push it because I'm always on. Oh, I'm Lord. always right at the border. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that no, thin line. No, I'm always right where I need to be <laughs> to get to tick. You know, Sandy, you know that, bah, that like that. Uh, Sorry, if you're right? tonight. <laughs> no, <laughs> the thing about it, what, 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 I'm, what I'm thinking is that uh, as a youth, I grew up, mm -hmm. right? You had a piece of Cassidy. As a youth, I grew up, and you see old pa girl out there where you like, and you, 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 you kind of hope, you aspire to say, boy, yo, I'm your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And it not happen. But yet still, you still have a crush upon her. But then comes along that particular girl who decides to give her a talk. Mm -hmm. So, not talk and everything seems smooth. Then all of a sudden, as, as little schoolers, you see the distance start going from, from them time there. How are you deal with that? Right? It's rough for a little youth, you know. Mm -hmm. Seeing? But say you get older now, and you meet a nice little sister. In. Say all you now meet a virgin, and you and the virgin are go on, go on, go on, and you know, nice little dinner. Come know your, your appetite not really so cheap, you know. <laughs> See? You leave me alone. A, a nice little dinner and a nice little um, time out, and then something there a few weeks, and then. All of a sudden, you're going to tell you, it's a boy, yo, even before you reach the base, I don't think this is going to work. Hey there, mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. How, how, right. how are you to reflect upon all of them because things that we're probably having in their mind, say, boy, Jano Star. Worse if a long time you want to make certain things go on. <laughs> and then you just come so bam and just mash up him aspirations, him dream. You are what he aspired to have between his shit. But that's where only where you had you aspired to have me. Well, if I even did so, <laughs> seeing it's a work in progress <laughs> and him willing and him willing to work on that. But then you kind of mash up the dream. Hmm. A youth like that now where him I look to you for be possibly in future, and you mash it up right there. So, who are you like that is to recover? You see, life life and relationships are really gambles, aren't they? They're all gambles, and nobody really wants to take a gamble and lose. But it's really all a gamble, because if it's not working out for me, in that case, then where you mentioned, then what mm. am I supposed to do? You're not going to stop and say, oh, it's not working out for me. I'm so miserable and unhappy. But because he had this all dream, right. I'm going to stick around well, for I, him. Before it's not working out, I'm still waiting. But before it's, a, it's not working out, it's before it reached that not working out part. It's, 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 it's at that point where I say, boy, I not think this is what I want. Mm-hmm. I don't so so you never want to start it much less, you know. 
Mm. I'm a wicked thing that's under my girl. I tell you, you know. Yeah. On a wicked, you know. <laughs> on a wicked her. <laughs> <laughs> 10 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. The time oh is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Service. We're soon forward. Stay and stay. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 La Best Family brings to you Portland Coolest Fed May watch the Bikini Cover Up Edition Monday, December 25 It's Christmas night at Bikini Beach Port Antonio, Portland Music by ZJ Johnny Cool, DJ Kino DJ Mad Hype, DJ Flair and Sensation Sound Party starts at 4pm Pre-sold 1,050 at the gate. VIP 2,000. Pre-sold 3,000 at the gate. VIP food inclusive. Are you thinking of a place, extraordinary place, where you can get a wide variety of Jamaican cuisine, scrumptious local dishes, and at the most affordable price? Zilla's Kitchen has the widest menu to suit your appetite and lifestyle. We're located at Bridge Street, Port Antonio. Place your order for pickup or delivery service. Call us at 453-6030. That's 453-6030. Zilla's Kitchen, the restaurant of choice. We never close. We never close. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtula supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town Christmas night gets extra special in Port Antonio as Rum Bar Rum Cream in association with Mystic Lounge presents a Christmas Retro Explosion. A Christmas Retro Explosion. Christmas night, December 25, starring the captain Colin Hines of Fame FM throwing down the classic hits of yesteryear. It all happens at Mystic Lounge, Royal Mall, Port Antonio. Come dance the night away at Christmas Retro Explosion with the music of the Captain Colin Hines. Admission 500. First 20 ladies free. First 20 ladies free. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artist and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, hey girl, Taria. We want to big you up tonight in a very special kind of way, girl. One of our avid, avid, avid listeners. Yeah, and of course, Gracie over there in Atlanta, Georgia. Where's Taria again? In Orlando. Orlando. That's Florida. Yeah? Orla oh. Yes, it's in Florida. Florida, right. Yes. Where do I get Canada in my head? To Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> Ontario. Ontario. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So Taria says, 
what is Rowe doing on the borderline? I want to know the same thing. I Can say, I tell well, you? Was the one that was insinuating something, and and I had to correct <laughs> it. Gracie says it's never a mistake; it's a learning process. Well, for some people, to be honest, Gracie, they think, "Oh, it's the worst mistake of my life." Some people will say, "You know what? I'm glad for that experience because I've learned so, learned so much, much from it. Know what to do next and what not to do next." So, and, yeah. And Kevin. Mm -hmm. And Kevin is in, well, Kevin says, hmm, that a rude. So the difference is a man will prolong until two or three kids, but a woman will let you know from early. You see? Oh, uh, wicked now. <laughs> oh, wicked now. Unus. Unus. Yeah. Yeah, the one that. Uh, Lead her down the wrong uh, road. You know, um. Well, you have some women who will a, a not cut to steel. A sister in, um. And I think this is even related to our letter for the night. But a sister, she was she, she was in a relationship, and um, she end up, ended that relationship because her partner had had I think like three or four kids, so mm -hmm. he didn't want to have any more. Oh, and she wanted she kids, wanted kids, right? You say in, in the who ended it? The man? She, I don't remember who who left who. But she, in a matter of maybe about two months, she found someone else and got pregnant. Oh. And all was well. Until <coughs> about six months, then the man just make out, run about U-turn. Wow. And said, boy, yo, me here say, because the man, I, I find him there still, and him come a yard and enjoy himself. And I don't know if they were... Still seeing each other? No, I don't, I don't know if before the breakup with, with she and her original person, them did um I used to talk mm -hmm. you know until things mature into what it matured into. But then just cut from her so? Well, why must say boy my hear him? They are friend and I hear say boy the youth and of him. So him 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 want do 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 DNA and them something. So go do the DNA. So she said, Alright, fine. The youth born, the man said boy, from when you see that youth they don't look like him. Oh, so Lord. now do DNA. <laughs> no, but you can't do that. You can't <laughs> take a look at the child to determine that it's not yours. Well, I mean, do. let me let me let me let me let me rephrase that. There are some no, you're people. Correct. Yeah, you, you're to, correct. to be honest. And so you're correct. Yeah. But sometimes a child will look like you or like the mother or like even grandparents and aunts and so on. Or nobody at all. Or nobody at all for that, for, for that matter is an is an individual like their yeah. own person. So you know, it's so, kind of like a dumb move to use that and judge. So, so that kind of mash up mm. in the sense it that... You about in business long time, yeah? Excuse the boy, I look. Well, yeah. it, it mash up in the sense that it's not the fact that him, him leave, but the fact that the boy, him mm. had, it, her integrity. Yeah. Her integrity yeah. is being questioned, questioned in, 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 a, in, in her opinion, one of the most immoral ways. Right, because, and defamation sort of. Yeah, she wouldn't... In her, in, for her, in terms of her um, ethics, right. she wouldn't do something like right, that. Right, right, right. She was with him. Mark, she left her man, you know, where no, no one no more youth. And, and, and I don't even say left him. I understand her situation. She genuinely had a, a serious situation. Yeah, she wanted kids, and he said no more kids. Clearly, they are on some unequal yoke story going right there, so, you know, so she had to make a decision to, unfortunately, she pick up her old croft. <laughs> who was not smart enough to go do a DNA. And if it turned out that the child is not yours, swore for your money, get back your money for your DNA, what you do? Simple. You, you know, I wonder if I'm um, like in a Jamaica, yeah, like how him they are foreign. But the child could very well have been here. If she can file child support, like how him they are foreign and she there. I think so. I think so. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, so maybe, 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 or something where. DG Angel says... Daddy Road, Shelly came this evening at the gate and asked me for swipe her. <laughs> but. Mean, let her in. Oh, me tell her. Me tell her. Br <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Look Sam here, said, no. Daddy Road on all of them. Now you're not one big idiot. <laughs> Can I accept me, Father Jacko? I am the sanest of them all. Can I tell you? <laughs> but, um. In terms of in, in in terms of turning someone down because you not feel say that person are the person for you. 
rejection. How, how, yeah, how would you, how you think, is, is there a good way of doing it? Is there a way of saying, say, boy, yo, um, yo, I mean, I don't know what The thing is, there, there's a good way of saying it, but there's never a, a good, way of, a good way of receiving it. Because I've been in the position already where I've had to say to somebody, that I really, really honest, and I did. That was the truth. I was just being honest. I mm. couldn't help but being honest because living with a lie was killing me. And I just said straight up, I do care about you. Go away with that. Right away. Yo, go away. Let me don't talk you about know, you. Yes, it. Ouch. I yourself to early, my youth. <laughs> no, I did say, yes, I do care. I really care. I really care. I really care. I really care. I truly really care for you, but guess yes. what? Fussy. There wasn't something, there was something Fussy. missing, and I just had to come out and say it straight up. I mean, I didn't like the fact that I had to do it, but I just had to do it, and I felt hey. better after. No, I mean, I fussed my friends. I felt up. better Better's because I was being up. honest. <laughs> <laughs> you see, some people can't accept the truth. <laughs> some of us, and I'm going to say us because sometimes when you get the truth to your face, as, as to how a person might feel, it's a very nice to swallow, very, very hard because your emotions are also in it and you feel hurt and pain, a serious kind of pain, even if the person is telling you the truth about how they feel. Really it's hard true. to accept. It's, that's just the reality. It's, like it's hard to accept a passing in a family. Yeah. You know, you know it's going to happen. It will happen. It's inevitable. But you can't ever get, get with it, accepting it. Uh, similarly, a relationship saying, hey, um, as the, the, the Vox Pop says, you know, you need some time. Mm -hmm. You need a break. Hearing that, even if the person genuinely just needs some time to clear them head and fathom where they're going, where their life should be going, and maybe they're going too fast or, you know, something, yeah. and they want to th really think it out, clearing the head is like having the person around might not be helping for that particular person. Sure. But to come and tell the lady or tell the man, say, boy, you need some, can't come, go down good. It just will never go down. I don't know if, I don't know anybody out there who cannot say, okay, okay, honey, not a problem. Take all the time you need. When you're ready, just holler at me, okay? I'll be waiting. <laughs> I, I don't think it works like that. I like, like the way there. Sorry. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're, we're going to read the Vox Pop. Um, oh, yeah. We're, we're, and we have a, we're, we're have a caller. Let's see caller on the, nine, on the 453. Good night, caller. Daddy Rose. Oi. Sorry, not Daddy Rose. Sorry. This clear. Yes, darling. Good night. Good night, darling. Let me say something to you. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, when you tell somebody that, you know, just wait, Mm-hmm. They're really just not interested. Mm-hmm. And that's, a, that's, that's, that's the honest truth. Mm-hmm. When you tell somebody to go for weird, you honestly, in your heart, you're really not interested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They tell you, if you're really interested, look funny and be honest. You're just, right there, Sue Colleen, but can you have a story? <laughs> yes. But if you really <laughs> and truly tell somebody, say, wait. I be car, you're not interested why you tell him for weight. No one believe you. No, honestly. Oh God, man. Then that that not logical, man. If you are interested and 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 you and when you go to bed, you have the butterflies and you just think about them and yeah. think about them. You can't eat and you can't sleep and you can't wait and 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 we have been there all you know. And and when the phone, when the text message come in, you just wish for that person there. Yeah. A text and. You, you never tell him to wait. You might say to them, you know, I don't want to get involved with your sexually yet. Or, uh, you know, I want to take it slow mm -hmm. or whatever. But the minute you say to somebody, say, yo, give me some time. Yeah. Mm. You really and truly know what a person. And, and I'm being honest. Real talk. Um, if, 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 if you say to the person, no, and I, know, I don't, don't misunderstand me now. I, I'm not saying that you're going to jump in bed with the person. But if, and, and, and you can say to the person, let us take it gradually. So you can say, you know, let us go out, get to know each other. Get a, but if you say to the person, boy, I think, give me four months now, give me five months, and then we start going. You really don't want this person. True. And, and, while, and there are a lot of persons that while you say, give me some time, you're still taking things from these persons. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, a, that's another dangerous practice that we have. Yeah. Especially as women. Yes. You know, I, I, I saw, I, you know, what I saw the other day was, was very dangerous, and a young boy did it to a woman, a big woman. No. And, and a lot of us, like, play mama for some young boy, and almost stop it. I mean, I do it. They, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, there was a situation where in $150,000 was, ex, was exchanged, and listen to the argument now. How did you get $150,000 from her? 
It's a gift. She said, no, it's not a gift. It's, it's Len, she lent him. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he <laughs> said, no, it's, it's Len, it's, it's give, it give me as a gift. No, I lend you the money for, for have the dad. That, but me, me and her in a relationship. Me and him in a relationship. No, we never know a relationship. Mm -mm. He didn't like me. So listen, mm -mm. I, I, I'm saying that if you're not interested in the person, me and a power won't avert you, but I'm saying that I've grown. If you're not interested in the person, don't take them things. Mm -hmm. While I'm saying to you, you know what, Daddy Road, oh, I don't want you to see your name. You know what, Cassidy? Give me some time. <laughs> I really... <laughs> you know what, Cassidy? <laughs> I, you know, I, give me some time. Yeah, man, I like you, but give, give me six months. I could talk now. While I'm talking and I'm taking the six months, may I take a phone from you? Yeah. I can't want a tire. Not only that, you yeah, ask me it. Exactly. You know, you call it. Hi, how are you doing? It's Angel. Um, you all right? You ask me. Are you all right? Yeah, man. But um, are you sound, sir? Oh, yeah. It's depressed, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm to you. You know, my car, boy, my tell me just... One oh, four tire. Tire, one four tire. Hi. <laughs> you understand me that? Yep. You are treading on dangerous. Oh, clothes. yes. Oh, yes. So when, when we get a four tire, you know, the person where you really want, you are not person gone to the car, you know, and that person where you use. So, therefore, you, you understand where, where may I come from? Yep. So, let me tell say in closing... That gentlemen and ladies also, mm -hmm. you are pursuing someone and they say to you, give me some time. It might be. And time doesn't mean time. If the person says we can go out, but take it gradually, that's, a good, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. Right. But if they say, give me some time, it might be an indication that I don't want you. Leave True. me alone. And uh, as you said that, it's even worse, I think. I think it's even worse if it is that you're existingly in something with the person. And then in the midst of all of that, after a year, mm. after six months of whining and dining and carrying on with the person, now a couple of years, then you say you need that time. That, and then in that space, you're wondering, then what were we doing all this time before? What happened now all of a sudden? You need this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's like your interest is whatever else is happening in your life is more intriguing for you than this particular man or this particular woman. So that too can be very painful and hurtful to the person who you tell that you need some time. And I don't think they ever can re they ever really, really just recover just by stopping your finger that they'll recover from that. And, and that is very interesting. And, and let me tell you, that is why I say to young people and old people too, do not base your relationship off sex. Real you know talk. Why? Because when the butterflies, because everybody, the most normal people, when you just meet somebody, even if the sex is not good, then you have this nice, urge for each other mm -hmm. that even if sex is not good it mm -hmm. feels like it is good <laughs> yeah, nice because it was an eros desire to begin exactly. with exactly so even if it's never good you have this nice feeling and it's feeling and it's butterfly and this whatever now if you base the relationship off that when this cool off period yep uh, um finish in three months or whatever time it go goes and you realize that you're based off the relationship, just off that. What happens when it during that period gone? Everything finished. True. So that was what it was based off. And it becomes boring. Exactly. Real now, talk. that's more like a relationship that Daddy Ruth and I would have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, DG. Yeah. We're going to go to the Vox Pop right about now, yeah? yeah? Let me say before I go to the Vox Pop because the sex wasn't good in any respect. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, having a ball, yeah. isn't she? <laughs> Thanks, DG. <laughs> oh, boy, pulling Daddy Ruth's um, legs in his. What's the name of the questions. pants? What's the name of the pants you wore? You go on talk. <laughs> you go on talk. <laughs> so the Vox Pop question. The, Vox, the Pop. Vox Pop for tonight, people. Here we go. Without giving an explanation, your partner tells you that he or she needs some space to think things through. Is there any difference between such a request and an actual breakup? 
what are some of the thoughts that would come to your mind? Would you sit and wait on them? <laughs> so your partner tells you, ladies, the man tells you, honey, I need some space to think things through. Or the man, the woman tells you, darling, I need some space to think things through. Is there any difference between making that request and coming to say, look, this is not working out. We are done. The breakup is imminent. Uh, and of course, when you hear those words, I need some space to think things through, what are some of the thoughts that would come to your mind? And would you sit and wait on the person? I think really was a question of what is it that you would do? <laughs> that should be interesting too. But there you go for the Vox Pop for tonight, peeps. And who? Uh, if I call on the 954. Hey, caller, good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Yeah. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the show. How are you? I am okay. All right, let's hear what your views are tonight. If your partner said to you he needed some space to think things through, is it the same thing as okay. saying, hey, I, I want a breakup? I have. Hello? Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you clearly. Go ahead. Okay. I have been in a situation like that before. Uh huh. <laughs> so the reality is, if you, if you realize that this person really care about you or you care about that, that person so that extent, mm -hmm. it depends. It depends on a lot of things. You yeah. can wait. But the reality is you have to know how much this person really or how much you actually really go for this individual. Mm -hmm. And based on that, you will decide if you're going to sit and wait. True. Okay. True. You understand? Mm -hmm. I think for me, that's it. But it depends on a lot of things, and you have to weigh the pros and the cons. Right. To see if it makes sense. Be because the you person could be going to the person could be going to a lot of things. Right. Because you know, men, men on a whole does not tend to talk about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They're so secretive and deep. Most men. So the reality is, most times you don't know. Hmm. So even without an explanation, you would wait. Yeah, if you if, if if you really care about that individual, uh, and if you how see long? where that relationship is going to go somewhere, you will sit and wait. Right, so how long? How long is enough time? For me, it yeah. varies. Because for me, I was in a situation where I was waiting for like almost a year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, did things go back on track? Got back on track, and then the person went back in the same state again, and like Masa. I'm like, okay, hey, because the thing is that men, as I said, men, men does sometimes does not know what they really want. True. Sometimes they are confused as hell. Oh yes, most the times. Majority. Most times. The majority. <laughs> it doesn't matter their age. True. And. That's true. So, with, with that said, <laughs> it can be really complicated. Yes. Yeah. Like most relationships can be. All right, darling. Thank you so much. Yeah. Where are you calling from? No. Where are you calling this from? This is Carlene. This is Carlene. Oh. Carlene. Okay, Carlene. Pick up yourself. All right. <laughs> Thanks for locking in. <laughs> Not a problem. All right, darling. All right, Carlene. Happy holidays, too. Oh. Thanks and same to you. Alrighty. Now she made a point that I wish to jump on a little bit because she said it depends on how you feel about the person and how the person feels about you. And I hold that thought for this next call on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to the show. Hello, good night. Hi, how are you, sir? I, I am hearing too much depends. I am hearing too much depends. <laughs> depends this and depends that. My definition of depends is something that women rely on every month. You know why you're no more depends on. <laughs> no, we know what we want. We know what we want. We just don't grade to settle for what the lady has. Sure. Really? Yeah, but not all men know what they want. Everybody not all men. Know what they want. If we see her and she look good, we are going to say do good, do good, and that's it. 
Yeah, but w- no, no, no. <laughs> when we say not knowing what you want, we don't. We know that every woman. We know that when a man sees a woman and she looks good and he wants her, yes, he knows that he wants her for that moment. And um, we're talking about generally speaking, life on a whole, relationship, and it's going on for years. We're talking about a man not being able to decide that this is what I am want. This is what I'm gonna go to. This is what I'm gonna be doing to to hold on to this relationship or to keep it going. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about that moment, momentary surprised. thing with a woman. You, you want you everybody. You would be surprised at a lot of, that a lot of men don't know what they want. Okay. We just have to settle for what the lady has. I hear you. <laughs> All right, just sir. Like that. We, we, okay. we, we, are you saying that a lot, of, a lot of the time they don't possess what we want? No. Go on your business. The line will tell. Because <laughs> all I really want is just sex. No, no. I can have sex whenever I want. I go, I go some... And every woman can give sex, I guess. No, no, no. no. What, so if we, if we give them sex, what we get back from them? <laughs> all I want is your sex. No, but if we give them sex, what, what we get back from them? You get pleasure. Come on. Uh, it's better than Annie Palmer, isn't it? No. <laughs> oh, really? No. You're too lying, no, wicked. No disease. No disease. You can go. You can go multiple times. Tell that to the average man from Africa. Multiple times with multiple women, so you cannot be better than Annie Palmer. And Tell it, that to the average man. Yes, and it and it costs nothing. Nothing <laughs> at all. Cost your blue balls. No, no, that is the release of the blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. The boy, you me. get out of here. <laughs> Pick up on yourself. Pick there. up yourself every time. All right. <laughs> oh boy, I, I still believe that most men do not know what they want oh yeah she made a point that it depends on how you feel about the person and how the person feels about you yep. but then if the if the man comes to 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 me and says for example i need some time to think things through i could be feeling it over heels for him and at the same time it could be could be not, just, not, not my operative word it could be a case where he's really not feeling the same magnitude that i have you know the same kind of feeling i have towards him he could very well not be feeling the same thing for me True. so to say i'm gonna wait on him because i feel this particular way might not be the safest thing to do what i would need to weigh is more how i see his reaction to me how he responds to me even if he asks for the time yeah how he treats me how he responds to me if it's any less or better than before, that kind of thing. Use that along with, you know, how you see things progressing to determine if I want to wait. Because a woman can love a man or a man can love a woman and decide that, okay, when I, and even though the, the Vox Pop did say no explanation, so it's kind of hard to accept that request without some solid, valid explanation. But without an explanation, and you really love the person, and you feel within your heart that the person loves you, but they are going through something, and you choose to wait, I think it's a very, 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 very serious thing that you have to really think through. Let, let, let me try to okay, see. You could be waiting let, in let vain. Let me see if I can um, could get, be. get some clarity. Uh, is there a difference between I need some time versus I want some space? I same thing. I the same thing. I think so. All right, let me see. Give me some time to think things through, right? Given some time to think things through. You yeah, go on your space to think it through too. In my opinion, means that you can still have some communication. Give me some space. Out of my presence. <laughs> can uh, right. Would, would, would more mean some why you know make we make we take where we self. But oh I'm gonna give you time when I'm there with you or you're there with me. Which means space means that we want, we need to be apart. Part. So giving you time, in my opinion, means giving you the space to think. And, also, and in that process of thinking, also, you're going to use the time to be thinking. But, 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 <laughs> but, but remember, you know, if you, if you, if you ask, so give me some time to try and make up my mind on certain things. That can mean that so you still have communication, you know. Yeah, nothing right? wrong with that. But if you say, give me some space. I same thing, yeah, man. I not complicate no, nothing, yeah, well, man. It's but, same but, thing. But if me ask for space, that means in my in my view, yo, me, me only need some space. Me, me only want you to, you know, you can look for me. No, that can't go on, <laughs> right? So, 
you don't need for a call call my phone and all of them. Because I want some space. Mm. Right? Because more time a man need for, 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 for have some amount of where I call it now. Freedom. You see, that's, that's the thing. They want the freedom to go on wild. No. Wild, no, wild no, thoughts. No, no. Yeah, wild, wild thoughts. Yeah, that's no. what they want. Actions. They want the time and space to go do no. their, 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 their free, get the freedom no, to do what they want no, to do. No, no, no. After the break, me explain the difference no, between the same thing. The spacing. Time and, and space and, are the same the, thing. And this time thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's 10.30. Real Talk, the time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Services. We're so forward. Time. This is Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266. The Block Factory and Hardware presents their massive paint sale happening right now at all three locations. Up to 25% off some paints. Paints as low as $1,165. Can you believe it in this time? The IB massive paint sale is on at all three locations. 7 Thompson Avenue Buffet, Main Street St. Margaret's Bay, and 44 William Street, Port Antonio. The IB massive paint sale. Come now. On until December 31, the big paint sale. Your foundation starts with us. DIB Block Factory and Hardware. DIB Hardware will be opened every Sunday until Christmas from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Port Antonio branch only. Ooh, la, la, la. I love the way you smile. Cliffhanger Restaurants and Lounge says, Cheers! Let's ring in 2018, an all-white New Year's Eve party featuring Grammy-nominated international group Raging Fire, acoustic show, Sunday, December 31st, 2017. It's an 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. event at the Cliffhanger Restaurant, Ross Craig, Long Bay, Portland. Admission, 25 U.S. dollars. Cocktails and orders included. Champagne at midnight. Part proceeds in aid of charity. For more information, call 435-9739 or 435-9759. And don't you worry, my people, don't you ever forget. Yes, Rasta, we are tell you. Yes, we have tweets that represent the Young Stars family in association with Young Stars Music Machine when they present at Wenyem. Young Stars link up on December 23rd, 2017 at Lava Beach Front across from 6 Allen Avenue, Port Antonio. Anchor Stars, yeah, let's have one. At yeah. the maddest party, man, party of all party. Member December 23rd coming up shortly. Music by Nico Supreme with ZJ Barney, Nico Bam Bam and the original Gemini Sound and Portland's Ooh. finest. Young Stars Machine! Yeah, yeah man, a whole heap of fun. Do. You see me? Mm. It done. Who do we place with the bang bang boom? boom. Ugly, we long damn bro. When we are touch, it coming like Christmas. It coming like Christmas. Oh yes, the mechanic and the SF crew presents the ultimate party. It's all about Christmas explosion. It's all happening Friday, December 22nd. Right at the club in our Boston Main Street, Portland. Headmission only 500 dollars Nobody should have allowed. There will also be a rough before first prize, a television, second prize, cell phone, third prize, a tablet. You know you will be entertained by DJ Nico. You know the air code 1876. I and art from Miami, Florida. And also the youngest and about is DJ Sanjay Fireblinger. Yeah man, Christmas explosion. Club and we're Main Street, Boston. December 22nd, it's gonna be off the hook. It's gonna be crazy. Christmas explosion. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, of course, only on Styles FM Radio. And you're tuned in to Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude on the show tonight. 
No, um, back to the Vox Pop, um, Cassidy. I, you know, looked up something here, and I, I think we need to share this a little bit, and then we expound some more. The Vox Pop again says, without giving an, an explanation, your partner tells you that he or she needs some space to think things through. Is there any difference between such a request and an actual breakup? What are some of the thoughts that could, would come to your mind? And of course, the big question, would you sit and wait on that person to come around and take you back? Whoo! Um, I'm beginning to have second thoughts as to whether or not it's the same as an actual breakup. Earlier, I did say it's the same thing, but it might not be so at all. We have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to the show. Hello? Hello, caller. Oh, you're on air. All right, we are not getting through to that person. All right, so for some people, hearing when I need space and time or space, might just say, okay, I don't pin one, dump me. I left, she ever left me. You know, persons will readily run to that thought. But then there are other persons who, based on how they know the, the partner or know themselves, might yeah. think something else. All right, but we come to some of the thoughts that will come to mind. <laughs> and as we look at this, is the article here. It says, um, taking a break means could mean that you still care about the other person, but you need time alone to process something that happened recently, whether it's a new job, huh, new boss, traumatic experience or event, death in family, crossing the line in a fight, unexpected appearance of deal breaker, discovery of a deep secret or hidden event. And the rest of it says, if someone doesn't care though, they might hang on for laws, laws or dump you cold by text. If they care, taking a break usually means the person has to decide on whether they are just in it for themselves or if they really care about someone else and you can't really make that call with the other person there trying to win you over real thing so uh that's putting a little bit putting it a little bit into perspective of a call on the line good night caller you're on air welcome to the show just a quick question i'm asking taking a break does that mean that when the person take a break the other person can um, take a break too Yes, and, <laughs> and, and of course, the other person might have sexual needs while they're on break. So can they fulfill that, other, that sexual need while they're on the break? I'm sure the man would tell her, honey, when you want the sex, come, and come, for me, come to me for it. <laughs> yeah, he'd tell her that even though he wants a break, even though he needs a break, he might still provide her with the sexual break. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I just want to understand. Yeah, man. So why yeah. is she on a break if she needs uh, her gas tank to be filled? She can come and refill and... Yeah, uh, man. I, 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 can I tell you? He might very well be breaking somewhere else too. But for That's her, she I'm needs to come to, to him. <laughs> That's the point I'm trying to Yeah. Make. That's, That's how it goes, honey. Breaking. He might just be breaking somewhere else. Yeah, man. <laughs> but for, for the, half of the time when he really wants to break, it might because he's probably breaking and entering somewhere else. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, food can you imagine? Can you imagine? Having your cake and eating it, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you hit it right? Last man, we having cake and eat it. You end up on social media since week. <laughs> 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 so what are some of the thoughts that would come to your mind if the partner says they need some space i sure on earth will not be thinking he has a new job or a new boss or some traumatic experience like seriously or death in the family what am i for if i'm your spouse shouldn't i be helping you through this you got a new job i should we should be celebrating busting some champagne yeah a new boss, and if it's a better boss than the first boss, yeah, you're excited. 
traumatic experience and they're shouldering you and I think, um, being there for you. So I'm not getting point yeah, where you want a I mean, break. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Because in, 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 in my opinion, asking for space, I would agree with a section that this person would have an influence if they are within that space on the decision that you want to make or the thought that you want to get clear. You know, because some of the time if the person is there, say say for example, um, sex is an important part of your relationship mm -hmm. and you have that kind of weakness for the person. Mm -hmm. Once them in a your in your environment, Immediate environment right, yeah. you are gonna definitely kinda want to engage in a that with them. Mm -hmm. Because if it is a situation where in say your thought process is do I am, am I happy with this person? Mm -hmm. And I need to be a part. I need some space, physical space from this person to see how I would survive mm -hmm. without them. To know whether or not I so, this is something we, we want to continue with. You know, so if somebody asks for space, I think say, you are a factor within them, them current situation mm -hmm. where they would have want to see what it is like for you not to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, you are, in my, in my view, would probably be an obstacle in something important. And, we, we, yeah. uh, we, we, um, an important decision where they want to make and they want to see. Because I'm tell you something, Cassidy. Point. A lot of people will not necessarily indulge in, in another relationship but they will, uh, they, will, they will actually entertain a relationship. Meaning, they might not outright cheat, mm -hmm. but they will kind of want to see what it, what it is like in terms of how would... Me, in this year, me and Cleo a date. And boy, Shelly kind of give me a little energy. I kind of feel her energy from Shelly. Mm -hmm. So how can I figure out... How can I figure out if I have that kind of... Um, Thing there for going. What may I have to do? Get rid of clear, Get rid out, of clear. clear yep. out of the space and make the opportunity come in. Obviously, mm -hmm. so you have one foot in, one foot out. Mm -hmm. So, so you try it. And if when you see, says a boy, you know, say me like the energy where, where Shelly give me, then you break the news to clear. Say Can boy, you imagine? Um, you know, say based off of the little time when we get me recognize say me not think say me are the right person. But but they, they, they wouldn't want to do that and let themselves alone. It's selfish, you know. It's very selfish. It's selfish. Very selfish. Right? So they, that person wouldn't want to know say boy they might make a bad choice. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to be sure of what they are getting into. A and then point taken and at the same time the other person, be it the male or female that, that is a victim of that, yeah. need to understand that, okay, this is the position I'm being put in. How do I deal with it? Which is, it, which is would you sit and wait? No! No, I don't think the person should. I don't think you should sit down and then indefinitely waiting on what. Now, as you said, you know, it could be a case where the person wants to test the waters test elsewhere. The waters, yeah. And at the same time, if and, prospects and, are and, there and, for and the test, woman test, or the man... T testing the water don't necessarily mean that they're going to get physical. <coughs> it don't necessarily mean that. No, on a real. I agree, you but know, the average because, person... Because, you I, I, know the average person. No, well, when she, once you're out of the picture, let me they get some, the time to go do other things. Let me share something of a situation. Which is physical um, in most that, cases. That, that, that I know occurred probably about a year ago to one of my brethren. It might be sister in a deal, right? And the two of them kind of kind of involved with other people, mm -hmm. right? But they had, all, they, had, they had always have this kind of, um, you know, them could attack upon them different um, needs then per se. So there was, a, there was an understanding that if either of them mm -hmm. was to think that they want to go outside or leave, they would mm -hmm. discuss it first and then pretty much grant approval. At least them have that, they, they, them know. I said, boy, you know, um, he might have eyes for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Or she have eyes for somebody else. Because them sisters, this way, them have now work out. You know, Richard Bridgen? Mm -hmm. It is on the day when the lady decides to have sex with the man. Mm -hmm. She call him and say, yo, you know, so me meet somebody. Mm -hmm. It's on that day. So, it's not that she not tell him, you know. But it's when she tell him. Yeah. So, there was always some kind of... um courtship or whatever it is a guan, right? Before she actually break the news to him says she was 
indulging mm-hmm. to some extent with, with, with limits. But now when she realized, yo, this is a man are the man when I really think a boy better for me because, you know, whatever situation she would have been in, she, this new man yeah, are the man who she thinks she wants to spend time with. So it happens. I don't think it's fear on the other virgin, but she never cheat, mm-hmm. quote unquote, on him. So some kind of solidarity can be looked at. Y- yes. You know? But she never give the opportunity for the space mm-hmm. for occur for, 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 for either him or her mm-hmm. for ventilate whether or not that would have been the best thing for the two of them because m- maybe they would have, based on what they understand, maybe they would have been granted approval. But what I learned is was that from the bridging standpoint, him would have want to know or be a part of say, boy, yo, yeah, me don't want you to get into something where I got hurt you because mm-hmm. me still rate you like that. We know the situation is this way and maybe none of we can have a quote-unquote good future then. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it... My, my, not, my, my take is, my take is, it would be easier you assess whether, def- definitively, whether you want to be in this thing mm. or you don't want to be in it. Because when you tell a person, big and serious, Women, if you tell a man you need some space to work things out and to think things through. To think through, things through. And you tell all oh, men, you tell a woman the same thing. Come on. And, 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 and The average natural human being is not going to just sit back and just well, hands down some just person say... Would. Because, yes, hey, but for whole all right, in because, their because, heads, because, somewhere they're going to have some doubt as to whether you, you really want them or not. Or Come not. on. Because, you know... One of, the, one of the, Notes will creep in. One of the aspects of it is that, say, within that space, what is allowed? Exactly. And then, do, you know? uh, is a man going to say would, to would, a woman, would, would, honey, would, would. I need some space. I asked for it. So, in the meantime, while I'm taking my space, you're free to engage if you so desire to. Because I do need space to think and to breathe and to mm. sort things out in my head. And but, you coming around but, even but, for but the sex will, you know, will cloud my yeah. thoughts and but, blah, blah, blah. But, 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 He's right. not going to do that. But, but yeah, exactly. Because we know so that now come. And, and the woman now go do it, the man now go do it. Exactly. But when you say you want space, do you think, say, for the person who has been asked for the space, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think that the person requesting the space has any right over what that person's life is like within that period? They shouldn't. So that person can actually decide, hey, you know, say asking for the space, it hurt me and figure console myself, right? Him or she can go entertain, can go seek other means. But then again, that's where the selfishness comes in because they're not going to do that. They well, won't. No, they're not gonna. They, they're not gonna. They're they, more likely they're not gonna get approval for it. But you think that so the person will ask for the space have any should have feel no way if this man go go run the thing? No, they shouldn't. I don't think they should, because I, agree. I believe that if a man or a woman in a relationship, because remember, Twina, it says without explanation. Because exactly. If you in your relationship and you ask the woman for space, I honestly think that. The average adult should be mature and responsible enough to deal with situations together. If you're going to be involved with the woman or with the man, mm. and you're having an issue like a new job, or get promotion, or death in the family, and I can't assist you in getting over that, are you going to need space? Like, me can't see that. What could happen so much that you're going to ask me for space or I'm going to ask you for space to think things through. To me, I'm, I could be wrong, but in my view, there is a level of doubt, lack of something, something going downhill as opposed to uphill, something decreasing as opposed to, as opposed to growing, and you now need to fathom, really, I have feelings for you, you know, but... I have this love fear, but something to me is watering down. That's why you need space. space. So to me, it's not a positive thing. Father I don't Cass. think that's positive. We'll call on the line, 453. Good night, caller. Mm-hmm. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Good night, you're on air. Yes, I can hear you. Go right ahead. Uh, um, yeah, you was on headset. I would have on speaker, Papi. No, I want. You want to try calling back because we are hearing a feedback which is not very pleasant. All right, thank you. Father Cass. Yes. Wait, 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 think. 
What, what you gonna do? A woman come to you and say, boy, she wants some space. Space to think oh, things oh, through. What would what, 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 what I run through your meds? She take her space. Her space. But while she on her space, would you be you 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 would have uh, things about she will come back to you. You you would put your life on on halt and pause for that woman there. <laughs> How long a thing you would have take as a man for say boy yo? You know, I'm uh, gonna find smart girls who are probably interested. I you you gonna open the avenue for involving with with smarty. <laughs> so you know, you, you know, you no time for cool down. As soon as she says she want her space, you definitely give him space and create that 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 that, that opening is there now for somebody else to step in. But what if she come back and say, "Boy, yo, Father Cass, everything smooth." What you gonna do? Take your space then. Your space are done. Oh Lord! <laughs> Get the caller back on four five three. Good night, caller. A little bit. A little bit better. Okay. You're not working. No, we're not sure who's calling. Who's calling? You. You. Hey, hey. The, the, um, puppy, the, the line bad, my brother. The line bad. That's why I ask if, if, if we're up on speakerphone or we're up on um, headset or something. Oh, I'm low. We're not hearing you clearly at all. Ah, that's the number. The overseas number. Yeah, man, I would pick up. Yeah, me know I watch here, the brother. But um, we just not get you. To, um, the, the the reception just bad. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. No, I, I don't know. I'm hearing you clear. Okay. Yeah, me let you know. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's all. All right. Good. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah, man. I am man. Hey, Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not here. Is she there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Just that you're in and out sometimes. Sometimes we hear you clearly another time you're gone. Oh, uh, do you hear me better now? Yes. Right. I'm going to talk to you about the season. Um, so on the topic, um, if my woman is in that space, it's pressure, it's too warm, what you want to share, what you want to share. Well, in our culture, brother, in our in, in culture, in in clear. Send us a text message now on the 453. Yeah. Send me a text and I'll get it through to you what you want to say. I think he was talking about if his woman asked him for the time, what would happen. I'm not sure, you know, if you could send a message, probably we can read it through that way for you. All right. All right. So what will come to my mind? Oh, my goodness. What are the thoughts that would come to my mind? That he has another woman for mm. one readily straight up off the bat. That him no longer interested. He wants to get rid of me and to probably bring in somebody else into his space into his life or he's already seeing somebody else and just is trying to find a way to get me out of the picture uh that would be probably the very 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 first thought that comes to mind uh, if not the only thought that comes to mind i can't fathom just about anything else that you know will uh, oh boy come to mind um hello caller yes good night clear daddy we are here how you do you. Well, I'm there upon the work, you know, I do my look regular, you know? Yes. Madly, madly, madly. You're the part of juggling. I'm right side, you start crying out, tell a lie, now it's a nice guy, be part of the eye. Yes, and um, DG said you would be calling us, so I guess she was right. Huh? DG did say you would be calling us, so I guess she was right. Oh, DG? Yeah, man, she said you would be calling in. Yeah, man, I was hearing, she's saying some things, you know, about, um... Uh huh. About um, man and woman. Yes. It's like if a woman tell a man she wants space and time to think things through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I said to my girl that I need some space and I will never, ever uh, make that mistake again. Yes. 
I will never make that mistake. No matter what me and I go through, I will never make that mistake again mm -hmm. by telling her that I need some space. It's not some, something that me not really want to bring up back, but because it's like due to certain things, you know? Yes. But um, uh, tell her to give me some space. Really, why me tell her to give me some space? Mm -hmm. To lend me $50,000. And whenever time... Me and I have any argument. She asked him back for your money. She asked me for the fifty thousand. That's the only time she asked me for the fifty thousand. <laughs> when me and I have a little argument. <laughs> Wrong so thing that. I, I, so one day me and I have an argument, you know, and I she asked me for the fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> and I say, you want me now? I'm going to give you your fifty thousand dollars, but you are give me some space. Yeah. When you give me some space, I won't have to give you. No money, like, to run the house. Yes. You can't make a bank here, but can money. Yeah, so that money that I will give you to <laughs> run the house, I will get those money. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, you hear the now. Just, just go for your mother. Yeah, go, go and go for your mother, go cool out. <laughs> when, me, when me accumulate that $50,000. You can't come back. Yeah. <laughs> and during that during that time, <laughs> she up by her mom. <laughs> it's like you ever hear them talk about something about old fire stick? You it? Yes, man. I threw something. I threw something, you know. <laughs> yeah. And during that time, she up by her mother. She meet back this person, and during this space that I give her, she make use of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, you know, because it's a very... It's not something I tell you that, because you know, you know, the bright guys are you, you're out of the road, and you do Yankee Panky with girls. Uh -huh. And when, when they find out uh -huh. that my girl go out there, go do... Anky Panky. Anky Panky, may I tell you something, shake up bad. Yeah, I said, I said, always go, man. No can't, no can't dish out. That's true. Where well, is a shake yeah, up? Where me? Claire, I thought me shake me up bad, bad, bad. Yeah, my head no good, huh? Oh. And me ask her, we find out, and the admit. Yes. And she said, she sorry. Mm-hmm. And me try to forgive her. Yes. But forgive her, but it's kind of hard. Why? No, man, it shouldn't be so hard, my youth. Yeah, man. It's it very, very hard to forgive her. But and true, the reason, true. The reason why I forgive her, based off of where I come from. I come from some time where not not going for me. She's dear for me. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> yeah, she dear. She dear for me. But bright eye, yeah. big and serious yeah. still you now. And a serious note, my youth. Big man yeah. thing, you know, if you can't anky panky, you know, you're supposed to can't take anky panky in you know, my youth. No, that's not relevant. That's not relevant. No. Plain and straight. And the women out there will agree with me. If you have been anky pankying the whole time, when you and I were together before, she, before you gave her the space, yeah? And you now gave her the space because you want to accumulate the 50 grand to give her back. And that yeah. happened and she admitted, you need to forget and forgive. Yeah, man, me, me, me take Anky Panky, you know, but it's not somebody that I take very serious. Me not, it don't matter you the Anky Panky, <laughs> me love. <laughs> but if it's you joke, if it's serious, it's Anky Panky name. Yeah, yeah, you, you see the person that, but you know, say, me play me game, you know, but you have, you have somebody out there when me say me really love. Mm-hmm. Sure. But if you didn't love you, the Anky Panky Panar. Nobody would have wondered. That's not relevant. <laughs> yeah, see, so, it's like, I try to forgive her, but sometimes I try not to try to remember. Yes. Sometimes my mind flat back. Ah, true. Forgive, and man. Forget some, something. To forget all them things there, too. And she said, when I asked her why, she said, I am, I am because of it. Eh, ah, true. And I said, oh, you mean I am because of it? Because she said that I tell her that to go for her mom. <laughs> and <laughs> me to give her some space. And she said that me and I could have sit down. True. Discuss, 
Sure. We could, sit, we could have sit down and discuss and say all the best we could work on this. Sure, thing. real talk. And tell us, my girl, I don't like when you have arguments with them, but you want about the money. That's not nice. That's not mature. I don't like that. I disrespecting that. Sit down and talk to her if you tell her how you feel. Club, you want yeah. space? You want space to do what? So, it's just the money that you say you want, man. Yeah, that kind of out of the still. No, no, that's not nice with you. So, you care about the money? No, 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 because boy, I told me I'll take up while the money let like you have me girl now. <laughs> Yo, so she come back, she don't come back yet then? I left now, clock. Yeah. She come back? <laughs> she never, yes, yes. Um. Old fire stick, man, old fire stick. All right, bright eye. Yeah, yeah we're going to the break here. Yo? We're going, we're going to the 11 o'clock break. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm just up myself, yeah? Big up yourself. Happy yeah, holidays, Big bright eye. All yeah, right. man, call it. All right. <laughs> the time is now 11 o'clock. It's brought to you by VJ Printing Services. <laughs> Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Sage Equipment Service. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Gaza. La Best Family brings to you Portland Coolest Fed Baywatch the Bikini Cover Up Edition. Monday, December 25, it's Christmas night at Bikini Beach, Port Antonio, Portland. Music by ZJ Johnny Cool, DJ Kino, DJ Mad Hype, DJ Flair and Sensation Sound. Party starts at 4 p.m. Pre sold 1,050 at the gate. VIP 2,000, pre sold 3,000 at the gate. VIP food inclusive. Yeah, ride on a skateboard, you fall down. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. Party people at DJ Baba Talk. Me a Tabo. Bring me as a trust. Present St. Thomas Mead Portland. Stars among stars. Fully black. Club Atlantic Mantiville Portland. Me a Tabo. December the 29. You don't know what everybody roll out. Give away so all night. I'm a Tabo. Kids fun me and treat all day. So follow out for the kids I'm in the day. I'm a Tabo. Powered by the bad son from out of Portland. Next international. Special. Special guest, DJ Fleer, and the bad son from out of St. Thomas, Galaxy Sound. Special guest, Richie Lees. I'm here to have a live bitch and video, you know. You don't know some ladies, I make sure to follow out in on the food colors. Admission, $300. After 12, four bills. Hosted by Grand Spain, December the 29. I and I, DJ Baba, said I want you to go loud. General, general, the thing no normal. I don't know what I'm talking. I'm going to say RHD Entertainment 10 Annual Present. Shoe out and floss. You know we don't play with people. You don't know it's a stage show starting 11 p.m. At Orange Bay, right next to Almond Lodge. The man in our mask represent for shoe out and floss December 25th. Orange Bay, Portland. I don't know. It must be 18 or older. I don't know the 25th of December. It's going to crazy. It's going to say. I don't know. I'm going to do the live in a man. I know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Admission 1500. 2005 VIP. How one more thing more to tell the people? Eh? Performances start at 11 p.m. sharp and finish 2 a.m. exact. And don't forget the after party. You see the people, eh? Hey, you don't know me Tamil Lego today and a lot of bad artists. Massacre. Make sure you come roll out and check it out. In you know? December 25th, Orange Bay, Portland. Young General Live. Grung them. Be a bad artist. Be a badness. A booty. Move. 
Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude on Styles FM. And of course, tonight we're looking at the Vox Pop without giving an explanation. Your partner tells you that he or she needs some space to think things through. Is there any difference between such a request and an actual breakup? What are some of the thoughts that would come to your mind? And would you sit and wait on the person? Here's the Vox Pop for tonight. Well, as far as me see, this person is requesting a breakup because, first of all, it must be something, something they must can talk about what exactly happened down in the relationship. For them to start, but what really happened for them to start, so they need more space or they need space. So as far as me see, the two of them are drift from one another and they don't know how to lift them one another. And now they got that boss with them more space. If the man who is in the business, he is the business. And if woman want to go to business, she want to go to business, but not that for they need space. Space is not offered with this. Need space to go around, go do more things, and then start to find out about in business. And most that they want to do. They don't need to think no true. Because as to know, we Jamaicans stay these days. They don't need to think no true. As far as I see. I break my try break up. Break my try break up and down and down. And to be honest, sit and wait for a reason. You have some people who is really faithful, yes, and who is really loyal. Mm -hmm. You have some people who really loyal. Then we, they, then we really say they need their time and then do their thing. But if me, I like a man you know, of me, Seth, me want some space. I got, I got about my business, me not going to sit down and wait for nobody at all. So it better than just left and done. He said that, that boat, them need. Space. Let's say that. Make a man go and go to business. I don't want to go to business too. Real talk. Yeah, good night, Daddy Road. There are times when your partner is going to need their own personal space. I don't think it's considered as a breakup if the in the words are not used, the exact words. Maybe they just need something happen and they just need to think about it um, basically and what they want. So I wouldn't think much of it. I would be concerned though as to what it is if they are not sharing it. With me, and yeah, I'm gonna feel that way, but at the end of the day, I would give the first his space. Well, then, say, so, what stay too long, serve two masters, so you know, you know, sometimes people may say they need space, but what kind of space you need? You need space for yourself, or you need space for us? That don't make no sense, but at the end of the day, still, you know, it kind of seem like a it, it's it's on the way to break up still, you know, when somebody tells us that they need their space. But when I ask them how much space they need, a mile or in, or, 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 or a thousand miles or three thousand miles, you know, they have an idea. Um, would I sit and wait on them? Not, no, not really, you know. Because life goes on, you need space to me, tells me that you're not sure if our relationship is what you want or if I'm the person you want to be with. So if you need space, then that means something is, you're, you're not totally there. So if you're not totally there, then maybe you shouldn't just be there at all. So in my perspective, it, it, it can be like a breakup to me, and you telling me you need space means that we should go our separate ways. You know, because you should have think about all of this, before, whatever you need space to think about or do. You should have think about that before we get together. So you need space? Yes, I will give you your space. I will give you more than your space. I will give you the pink slip and move on. Real talk. <laughs> okay, there you have one of the oh, interesting ones. Very interesting. Yep. And as I was listening to them in a daddy road, the thought that really grabbed me is no matter what it is that happened, it must either be at a point where we can work it through or we can't work it through. I tell you something. So, you know, space most, and most time, time when, see it. Most of the time when people ask for space, mm -hmm. something happened. Mm -hmm. And something happened between the two of them. And I have nothing in many instances with external true, factors. True, true, real talk. Right? Oh my God, you're sensible tonight. Thank God for Mrs. Jackson. Oh Lord. 
Thank you, Karen. Let us sound real. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Really? And, truly. And, um, mm -hmm. Nothing to do with external factors. Nothing to do with external, external so factors. So I mean you can deal right. with it. If I, exactly. Yeah. If it's external, the two we must can deal with it. Mm -hmm. But if, when somebody says, boy, yo, yes, right now, mom, we need some space you now for things or anything. Something good on. Yeah. And normally, it is some form of infidelity mm -hmm. or some form of other disrespect we go on. Yeah. Where somebody says, yo, you know what? In, in other words, better you go along by your business, you know? Yep. Right? But then now, uh, come out Come out and say that, yeah. So... Within, within, within that whole separation is a test, believe me, mm -hmm. to see if them if them can make it on them own and if they can make it without you. Mm -hmm. It's not to do it, boy, I'm going to see and, and, and then make up back with mm -hmm. you. They might go, they might go ground zero, zero yeah. and see if they can survive at ground zero. And most times, I don't think it gets back. No, because, all right. Don't get back. Taking the space, would we discuss what occurred during the space? Exactly. Is and try to necessary? find a way to resolve it. Seen. Or find some amicable way of, you know, saying, okay, this is going to be our way forward. Forward. That's not happening. No, so, does so, time, so, does time somebody, pass? Somebody violate. Yeah. Does time a pass? Somebody violate or, or something between them is, is recurring. Yeah. And, and they must say, yo, you know what? Tired of this. Tired of this. Then I want to make, make we call it a day. Mm -hmm. Make we just give one another some space. And then in that time, what they'll do is use the time to let... Because with, with time, you know, yeah, with time, you know, things change, you know. True. You understand? With time, things will change. So they allow the time to just progress. Just progress. And, 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 if, it's, and if we get if, back as so, if, if we not if, get back, you know, move indefinite, on to something else. Yeah. Our next thing that. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, all right, we have some Vox Pop to read real quick, um, some WhatsApp to read real quick, mm -hmm. and then now we can close out after the, yep. the Vox Pop. All right, let's see what R&B in England says. Me a cut. Me now, me now want no space. <laughs> Bright, yeah, yes, something else. Indeed, Gracie, can I tell you? Uh, man want every woman them sick. Go back to Gracie, please. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, me say, Cleo, cause that... Cause at that bright eye yeah, call, indeed he is something else. Uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, we have a caller on the four five three. Good night. No, not much at all. It's like some of the words are clear, and most of them are choppy. I'm not sure what's happening with your connection at all. Hear me now. Yes, but I hope it stays that way, or else we, we have to disconnect the call. Go All ahead. Right. Okay. I'm in fun. I'm sure the call. From St. Anne. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah. It's still like EMC, right? Yes. Just talk stronger. Talk stronger so we can hear you clearly, every word clearly. Go ahead. Hi, right. EMC, right? Yes. Okay. Um, right side, I'm spending um, this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So here, here this morning, get back to the bottom of the time. I don't know what to do here. Boy, Parry, in a, 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 a call connection, not so clean at all, at all, at all. Right. I don't have to get some. Is there a different phone to call us? Yeah, no. you have to use our next phone. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Is there a different phone to call us? We're not hearing you. Ah, uh, that's it. Bless All right, brother. Blessings. Unfortunately, we really wanted yeah, wanted to hear his and, input, I but link that when I'm yeah, we not not able to get through to the call there. All right. How so can we forgive? Carla. So why? Oh, we can forgive. So why they can't too? That's a good question, Carla. Can I, can I tell you how differently wired they are? Two wrongs don't make one right. Thank you for that. No, in Cassidy. No, in Cassidy, now, I'm yeah. not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Fitzroy says. When asked for space, I said, really? We'll have the whole floor. <laughs> I knew then it was over. It was over. All right. And um, Kevin. 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 Kevin says, true story. After. Should leave, I read that one? Before school. that one. Daddy Road. See the difference is a man will. Pro okay, we got that one already. True story. After leaving school, I tried to have a relationship with a girl from my class. She asked me for some time. She got pregnant for tall, tall dark. dark, and 
awesome man. <laughs> um, he denied her and the child. Now she's asking me if I still want her. I just laugh. <laughs> hmm. I would laugh too. Yeah. Katie and says, mm, she locked in. All right. Carleen says, supposing I want some space really doesn't, does just, doesn't just mean that someone would like a little time alone. How can you, sorry, make sense of that? One thing, it can be, be helpful. can be helpful. <clears throat> we don't accept WhatsApp calls, remember, please. We only accept WhatsApp text messages, all right, on the 453 or regular call or regular text message, all right? Um, one thing it can be helpful to understand is that someone's wanting some space may have nothing to do with you. Yeah, give me mm, give me something means some time. Give me some time. Give me some time means a person who does not always act like a true friend. Give someone a break is stop putting pressure on someone about something. Yeah, true, but Carlin. Yeah, but Carlene, if you say give me some time to think about something, I mean, no, it's just not come off very nicely for me at all. Um, and of course, that's pretty much it, is it? All right, Kevin from Sunil is locked in. I want a time to go get some space. <laughs> I want a time. <laughs> I wanted at a time rather to get some space because the relationship was just in a hurricane at a hurricane level. It was not that I wanted another relationship, but it's just that I wanted to cool off arguments that are brewing every second. People can, can want genuine space in order to get the relationship to a proper level. Space can be for a week. This is a this is Rosalie. Oh, this AKA. is Rosalie, a.k.a. Cowie from Duck and Field, St. Thomas. Thank you so very Thank much. You. Different perspective on things right there. All right. Mm -hmm. um, thanks, everyone. We are closing out the Vox Pop. Thanks, Kivoy, in um, Sunny Hill. We have a lovely article we want to read for you, and we also have a nice, nice, juicy letter. So... <laughs> Um, thank you, everyone, for participating. Uh, we, we, missed, yep. we, we missed a call a while ago. We apologize for that, but we're kind of out of time. Um, so I hope you all enjoy this article that's coming up next. All right. It's from Love Panky, of course, and it's by Jaina Snow. Perfect name for the perfect time. <laughs> 15 dirty ways to have the sexiest rough sex ever. Yeah. That's not what I read when I read it first. Oh, my goodness. 15 ways, dirty ways, of having the roughest, the sexiest rough sex ever. Boop, 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 boop. I haven't heard it in a long time, and it was so pleasing to my ears <laughs> to not hear it. <laughs> Here's everything you need to know about how to have rough sex the dirty way. And you can use these 15 types of rough sex to make it a lot sexier too. Rough sex is subjective. What's rough? to one person could be tame to another. <laughs> if you're seeing someone for a while and they confess that they love rough sex, don't just grin widely and assume you know what they expect you to be in bed. Mm. What is rough sex? Yeah. Rough sex is a type of sex where you involve pain in the sexual act to yeah. increase sexual pleasure. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> it's a sexual release I'm feeling pain reading this mess, reading this article. <laughs> it's a sexual release where you can show off your brute strength and you're lost at the same time. Rough sex is not something most people talk about easily, but yet it's something all of us could enjoy if done the right way. If you're not someone who's into rough sex, <laughs> can I tell you? Mm. Bringing all that aggression into something as romantic as lovemaking could sound alarming, but that'll, that'll all change once you understand the little nuances of passionate rough sex here. Firstly, rough sex is best enjoyed with a partner you trust. Both of you know each other's limitations and capabilities, and it's easy to know where to draw the line. You got that right. You got to know where to draw the line, brother. Hello? The psychological thrill of rough sex. 
psychological thrill for who? Well, I guess you do have women who will tell you, oh, if it's not rough and hardcore, then they're not into it. But then, yeah. I guess it mostly goes for the average man, yeah? One of the sexier things about rough sex is how contagious it is in bed. If you claw your lover's back with your nails, the rage they experience will subconsciously force them to reciprocate your rough moves with their own, which can lead to a heightened sexual experience for both of you. Yeah. So hold on, you know. Yeah, tell me, say, if me claw my nails in his back and him hang on to my neck, fufa neck, <laughs> eh? and I squeeze, fufa neck, you must be mad. Ah, oh boy. The thought, as I said before, and I'll repeat, reading this article is very, very painful. <laughs> but rough oh sex is, uh, isn't for everyone, especially the ones who have had bad experiences with it. For the ones who enjoy it, though, an occasional round of rough sex can increase the passion in a long-term relationship. Bill Carla, where are you with? Bill. People who love rough sex get the sexual high more from the pain they experience yeah. than the sexual pleasure they feel. It's definitely not a bad thing, though, because every once in a while, a, chan a change in routine in any relationship can make lovemaking a lot more sexy and alive. Yeah. Or, or did. <laughs> when you are genuinely having rough sex, the urge to enhance the sexual sensation is so overwhelming. I feel pain you know. Seriously, you know. <laughs> True, man. Sensation is so overwhelming that even penetration can't satisfy you. Then I but I do it for then. You want to do more, mercy God. <laughs> it hurts, but you like it. And that's what makes the whole thing so passionate. Oh, God. Is article finished? Uh-uh. Uh, I'll pull both the pan clear, mm. yes. <laughs> but rough sex I isn't best for... Article is no, sir, I the worst one. Best article. I said the worst. Yeah. Carla said rough sex hot. It's not boring. <laughs> None at all. Mm -mm. uh. But rough sex isn't for everyone. <laughs> Present. And every stage of a relationship, especially for a woman, amen to that. As I said earlier. She'd feel more comfortable indulging in it with someone she trusts and loves and knows and knows will not judge her unless she's having a one night stand with a really sexy guy she's been waiting to get into bed with for a while. Hmm. But she go on probably try to impress him. So if he come to her with the hardcore or something, she'll go along with it because she'll try to impress him from a long time. Hello. Hmm. And I didn't do impressing nobody. Rough sex is rough sex. But even when two people indulge in it, they can take on two different kinds of roles. One partner usually initiates the rough sex, while the other partner experiences the physical pain and gets aroused by it. The woman is the one who feels the pain. <laughs> and you know how many of them get aroused by it because some will be turned off. I wonder though, some of these women who I see, even in some of the, the films, bawling and screaming and hollering. And I'm Giant. feeling pain for them, like, oh my God, she's hurting. I get to understand that they are actually carrying on that way also because it, it feel nice. They're not that man. You must be mad, man. You must be mad. The moment I started man. feeling any pain, all pressure gone through the window. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how they can equate pleasure to pain. My oh, girl, my you're goodness. Dance. Dead of that man. Oh, you know, boy. Police didn't lock off your dance. Because <laughs> <you're dead>. <laughs> 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 I can't answer my radio, you know. <laughs> if you're more dominant in the relationship or in real life and have a career or a lifestyle where you're not pushed around much, you may enjoy submissive rough sex more than other people. Okay. It's your ways, it's your mind's way of craving for a release from the responsibility and the control. The psychological release of control makes you enjoy your orgasm better. On the other hand, a lover who plays a submissive part in the relationship or in real life may get more pleasure by taking control in bed or by playing the dominant partner while having rough sex. 
Rough sex doesn't have to be a means to abuse each other or feel powerful. Mm. Tell that to the man who's giving the rough sex. <laughs> it can be used as a psychological release, just as long as you practice it in a controlled environment and swap dominant and submissive sides often, unless both of you prefer specific roles at the time. This the movie um, Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, yeah. Part One. I think she probably liked the pain that she was feeling. I don't know. Mm. And at, at some point, it got too painful, and she wanted out. No, I'm gonna watch it still. Yeah, but Part Two was really much nicer. There was one or two scenes of rough, but rough in that case was a little bit um, relative. That means the show get boring. No, man. It wasn't boring. I love part two more than part one. Can I tell you? Rough sex isn't always kinky sex. You hear that? While rough sex is a kind of kinky sex unconventional, it could be just a passionate tumble in the hay because both of you are extremely aroused. Most kinds of kinky sex takes some amount of planning and preparation, but rough ones almost never needs any planning unless you plan to involve toys and other sexual paraphernalia. Mm. Rough sex is sexual arousal beyond penetration. It's the sexual arousal that's brought about by aggression. Eh? Because she for a, womb. Huh. Mm. a rough sex tip for the guys. Girls like rough sex. <laughs> I like you, I tell. <laughs> of course, okay, not all of the time. Not all the time. Not all of them either. But every now and then, a good round of rough sex can make them feel alive. Somehow, being dominated once in a while with aggression turns a girl on. There's something about a man's physical strength and the animal-like aggression that can awe a girl all the time. See a start smile? Hmm. And I'm feeling so cold now. Money, money. When you have rough sex with your girl, it shows off your confidence <laughs> and your manly yeah. <laughs> wild side, which can turn her on and rekindle the raw sexual desire in her. Rook up, rook up, but rook up, rook up, how rough rook up. would she like it? Well, that's something you need to talk to her about. Rough sex for the calm lover. Hmm. If you're someone who isn't used to the idea of hurting a lover while making love in a controlled environment, the idea of rough intimacy may sound gross and appalling, even frightening. Hmm. But you never know how painful you feel or how sexually aroused the act can be until you try it. If you're having rough sex for the first time, don't let your awkwardness show. Start slow by kissing more aggressively and using your teeth to do what? <laughs> Tell her, okay, ladies, use your teeth. <laughs> but as you that. get more into the act, apply more pressure on your partner, either by using your hands or your pelvis. Run your hands through your lover's hair and grip it firmly with yeah. your fingers while whispering something dirty or biting your lover's neck a vampire. <laughs> and when you feel comfortable enough, run your nails against your partner's back deeper with each confident thrust of your pelvis. My ear, worse if it just don't do? Don't you dare touch it. <laughs> And somewhere along the way, you start to feel the wild passion engulf yeah. you. You, and before you know it, you'll be all roughed up and ready for a wild, rough time in bed. Can I tell you, and I think ladies out there will attest, if it is that the hair is just, just done, and during the act, you're even ent enjoying, the moment your hair is touched, everything goes through the window. I can tell. Yeah. Oh, talk about the um the butter part. Oh boy, are we gonna we 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 gonna Almost. hmm fifteen ways to have sexier rough sex, pain and pleasure release and en end of endorphins. Yeah, a morphine like chemical. Yeah. Morphine like chemical created in the body. If you learn to mix pain with pleasure, sexual pleasure while having rough sex, you'll be able to experience more of the feel good sensation instantly. 
All right? Number one, scream and yell. If you can scream and yell. Mm -hmm. Not all of us are sexual screamers, but when you get roughed up and shed your vocal in inhibitions, you'll feel more relaxed and carefree, which will make you wilder. You hear that, men? Scream and yell, okay? I know we that. And I must wear one can scream and yell. One can scream and yell too. No, hmm. no, no, no. Nibble and bite. You hear that, ladies? Nibble and bite. Mm. Using teeth is always a great way to bring out the animal in you when you're in bed. Bite hard. Must be mad, man. Mm. But not hard enough to draw blood. Focus on uh, uh, erogeno erogenous zones like the neck, um, breast, belly, inner thighs, and around the elbows and ankles. Massa. Elbow. <laughs> <laughs> my co host said elbow. <laughs> my that elbow in the process. <laughs> Claw your lover. Scratch your fingernails. And we are saying, literally, running a painful line. We are saying, with your fingernails against the soft skin of your lover's back will send a sexy rush that can cause a lot of pain too. But when you're on a sexual high, all that pain will turn to sexual adrenaline. Hmm. Four, push each other's. Pull each other's hair. Must be mad, mad. This is not my article at all, at all. Grab a, grab a handful of your lover's hair just above the scalp. <laughs> at the back of the head. <laughs> and tug at it. Uh, yeah. You won't lose your grip. You Come won't here. lose your grip. And yet, the pain will feel more pleasurable. Let me see. Joke again, man. Than when you hold your lover by the lower <laughs> ends of their hair. No hair, no, not this thing. Yes. Hold on, I'm clear. I'll go to the break. Okay. <laughs> hey, because imagine yeah, I'll, 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 mad, I'll, I'll, I'll clear extension and I'll pop out. Jesus, <laughs> just do. If you want thousands of dollars, you must be crazy, man. No, Ladies and gentlemen, no, it is now 11.30. Right. <laughs> the time is brought to you by VJ Printing mm. Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio I and Stage I Equipment I Service. It's hot, you know. Look, look <laughs> what call it. Look at Carla right here. You know what? Over, over dance dead, you know. Carla dance dead. Fear you dance you dead. Say. You know, we're going to a break. We're so yeah. far away. <laughs> <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Join in the holiday magic at Great Touch Resort in Boston Bay on Christmas Day. Live in a jam down includes dinner and rhythm bank, Portland's reggae and jazz talents, and on New Year's Eve, sip champagne atop Africana House. Port is newest vacation retreat where spellbinding views of the Caribbean form a pristine backdrop for a melange of art, nature and entertainment by famed DJ Sheppy and Queen Zion. Reserve today at 993-8888 or email events at greathuts.com. It is worth the drive to Porty. Great Huts, paradise on the edge. The access representing Sankofa Foundation featuring King Taft present at the night event call. Boxing Day Invasion, Tuesday, 26th of December, 2017 at Mount Pleasant Alley School, Portland. Music by Kilimanjaro, DJ Mookie and Surprise DJ. Come out and check out our free kids zone. Wally Pa Game and prizes to be won. Bingo and Dabino no competition. Admission 199, day event free. NSU special all night. Bus leaving with us at 10 a.m. Access to the Kushite. Salubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubilubil
Creative Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rel Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, you're listening to Styles FM Radio. And this is the voice of Lady Cleo. Number five, as we were looking at, oh, how you can have the sexiest rough sex, aggressive move, movements. Pound each other like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. And the aggressive to and fro movements will turn both of you on just as long as both of you can hold on long enough. But remember, you're dealing with a fragile body part, body parts here. Hmm. With fragile body parts here. Yes, remember. It might can break, but it can <laughs> break. Yeah? Don't get carried away and push too deep or too hard. But you see, she might contradict himself right now, you know. Because he's just so rough. And rough is rough. And aggressive is aggressive. <laughs> so he don't go too hard and don't push you. Make up your mind, yeah, man. Number six, the burning slap. Hmm? Slap each other across the fierce mid-judgment. <laughs> oh, what is? On the chest. Uh... <laughs> no, sir. Or if you're standing behind your partner... Who's on all fours? Ruff, ruff. Slap their back or their buttocks. The searing pain will bring that, out that the animal in your lover. Roof, roof. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Oh, dog. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Number seven, as, as fixation. For many kinky... Kinky lovers, cutting off the ox in my mother. Look at me carrying the mortis. <laughs> <laughs> cutting off the oxygen supply to the brain yeah. arouses them on an all-time high. Me I don't hey, know. I'm that. feeling pain to read this article. I tell you, please read it's, the rest of it. May that, I beg that, you. That, that means I'm going to choke you, you know. But very careful here. Yes, sir. As you could end up hurting your lover while choking or throttling them. Mm-mm. Instead of trying to choke your, <laughs> your lover, just place your hands gently on your lover's neck and massage it until they feel your pleasure. Mm -hmm. Your pressure. No massage me neck. Me I right. Not Look here, there's a call on the 453. <laughs> we lost the call, I think. We lost the call. Don't try blocking off the oxygen supply completely. Completely means you can block off some height. <laughs> Ah, you definitely should Minna leave that to the professional check. kinky chokers who know what they're doing. Look here, I feel pain. Hold on, we have a look at this. Is... Is... Hello, Carla, good night. Yes, I tell you, sir. If you're not, you need to try to lick like that. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, what? You need to try some of that because any how you ever get that in your life where you never get already, that first where you have. You're going to lose it. <laughs> that woman have a lose. Person. Look here, for instance, listen. If you. Oh, so you're going to go to that, yeah? You are. You see the partner that you are. If you don't make him give you a set of rough sets that you ever pulled back in your life, <laughs> um, make sure to say, give him a love answer on you. Eh? Hey. Yes. Well, oh, yeah, well, 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 maybe yeah. after she read this. Right, so what, what, what I'm trying to say, hey. you're going and left him. Hey. Want, yes, you need to, to get that if I'm one time in your life that you know what it is like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to. So you say I'm going to get you up me and cut out my, my ear supply. Look here, you're, you're, not, you're just going to go over the bone, but you're not going to get there. So you must show up me and try to tell me. Yes, you must choke you. You're going to go choke for your wife, you my love? Later, my brother. Later, my brother. Carla, be ready to have a friend. You're playing on to the point. But when me, I talk to you, yeah? <laughs> yeah. If you want to live because you can't choke me in collaborative business, not choke me. <laughs> 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 
say yes if it choke you. <laughs> No suicide mission. Oh boy. Don't try. Okay, we mentioned not to block off your partner's oxygen supply. Yeah? Another alternative is smothering the face. <laughs> that is <laughs> don't me I beg you, kill me. Either by gently using your palms without too much force or by placing a porous pillow. <laughs> Imagine somebody oh. under there. And you don't know. Oh. Have mercy. If nobody gets smothered in my loving pillow, I him. I know me. Abusive words is number eight. Ever heard the lines? Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Or call me bitch. Well, many lovers get. Um, lovers love getting called trashy names and hearing dirty abuses. If your lover's into being called a whore, go ahead and indulge them. Not for them thing, to each his own. Number nine, fantasizing the role play and role play. The words you choose play a big part in setting the mood for rough sex. Grab your partner by their hair as you lay on their on, as you lay on their side and whisper something dirty about what you intend to do to them hey, or girl, pretend oh we are giving rice <laughs> 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 or pretend like both of you are two other people like two strangers on a flight or drunken strangers at a party if you have an active imagination you'd get your lover in the mood even before doing anything else 10 force force forcing your partner to perform sexual acts can work quite well if both of you enjoy dominant and submissive roles. Hmm. Force their head down yeah. on you. You must yeah. be mad man. Mad, mad, mad man. Or hold your lover by their neck or hands and order them around the bed. Just dry around, sir. Lord. <laughs> Number 11, whips. This is Fifty Shades of Grey. If your fingernails aren't painful enough, use short whips. <laughs> that means then, I, that means I man I get the whipping. Who? I man I get the whipping. No must him. <laughs> they hurt more, and it's a lot more dominating and insulting to be whipped. Mm -mm. So what can I whip? Maka whip? This is really <laughs> yes, yes, Carla, the really Christmas edition for you. <laughs> and of course, a lot of babies will be born in nine months' time. Mm -mm. Tie your lover up. No, it is a rough thing. That yeah. that me want to do. Tie him up, of course. <laughs> Not me, I get tie up, you know. He may get tie up. Mm. Tie your lover's hands and legs to the bed post. <laughs> or hold... And I can't tell you that. Not many men will get... They will want this to be done. Oh, oh my goodness. To the bed post or hold their hands firmly with your own hands. No, man. The average woman can't hold no man's hand firmly. Please. Tie him up, man. Tie him up with rope. <laughs> the helplessness of the situation could turn both of you on because oh, one of you will be in complete control of the other person. You could also use cuffs instead of ropes. Hey, me is a one Jamaican artist go up on tour, you know. And when they don't see him, they go look for him and tie them, find him tie him. <laughs> <laughs> 13. Spanking. Spanking is the poster boy of rough sex. When someone thinks of rough sex, almost always they visualize a hard smack on the bare bottom. Hmm. You know to smack. So you so go right ahead and smack them until they turn red. Yes, smack him. Smack that right on the floor. Smack that. I say Sango. Yeah. Woman 14. Force yourself smack. on your lover. The rape fantasy. If hmm. your partner gets aroused by the thought of being sexually overpowered by a stranger, talk dirty about a fantasy where your lover's being forced into sexual submission by someone else. And as you visualize the scene, make sure your hands continue to play rough with your partner's body. Fifteen. This done, please. Can't go no more. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Fifteen. Toys and gags. <clears throat> Rough toys and gags are not for the faint-hearted. Thank God me faint-hearted. But if you want to take the road into rough sex, go right on. It may not be for everyone, but if you do enjoy extreme rough sex, perhaps BDSM is the way to go. I can't go no more with this. Mm -mm. That's it. 
That's it. We're tapping right this song. Oh, more is about your tap. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and germs, she's <gasps> totally. And roughed up, a roughed up big time. <laughs> Your hair look roughed up for real, yeah. like, yeah. like 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 you were being dragged around and gagged and all kind of oh, something. Boy. You know, you're suffocating oh, and boy. all those stuff. Can I tell you something? The best article. This is the only article I've ever distanced myself from psychologically. I think all it's year the best round. article that had ever been has ever the, been the read worst here. One ever. And I'm, I'm really me. happy mm -hmm. that you were so into it and you indulge into what you know so we feel pain right next through. week we're, we're, we're gonna read the rest i don't know if left either you know mm, good i don't know if left either anyway but anyway ladies and germs that was the <laughs> article and you can find it on love panky <laughs> l-o-v-e-p-a-n-k-y dot com <laughs> and let me see what it's called 15 hmm. 15 something yeah 15 um 15 dirty ways, ways to, to have, have the sexiest, sexiest rough, rough sex, sex ever. Mm. I like it. Uh -huh. You would. It's not one of the one by the other one that we always write what women are like. At the first, would you want to be tied up too? No, me would tie and up. Smothered? No, you're mad. Smothered? No. Choke neck? No. Box cross face? No. Me right box to... across you. <laughs> 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 you start a fight right there, so. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, um, oh thanks boy. for your thanks for your <laughs> listening ear. Listening the lady ear. had pain listening to and that. And for I'm sure. all those who indulge, my brethren, I think above both a brethren they are called from. Um, no, um, my place name. <laughs> um, Hartin, I think so. Okay. I think a Hartin they are called from. So we're gonna go to the letter for tonight. Uh, we have 15 minutes, minutes left, and I think it's a really, 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 really lovely mm. letter. Here we go. I'm sitting here contemplating what next year is going to be like with this man I'm seeing. There are two of us women, that is, in his life. And as far as I see, it's, 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 as far as I see it, there's no side chick. Yeah. We are both his women. Yeah. But what he doesn't know is that I know everything that's going on. No. I stay with him because finding a new person, there is no guarantee of how that relationship is going to turn out. And everyone hates uncertainties. True. There are guys who've expressed their interest, but my man is very jealous. I, mean. I remember one evening he was in distress. And if he was to hit by as if, and as if he were hit by a truck. And based on my eavesdropping, cocky ears and I listen, he seemed perturbed because he didn't know the whereabouts of his other woman. He couldn't eat, and I was so in the need for sex. But his penis failed him. Laugh out loud. <laughs> to be quite frank with you, it's One not week. that I'm 100% comfortable, but as morally bad as the situation is, he treats me good and yeah. with respect. Yeah, I mean... Next year, I'll be 30 yeah. and hope to get married and start a family. Bill. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I'm thinking to ask him to take our relationship to the next level. No, no, no. I don't intend on to be sharing him at that point. Yeah. Or, or sharing herself, I should say. How do you think I should approach him? Should I let him know what I know? What's your view on the whole situation? So pretty much, this woman has a man, he has two of them. She ain't no side chick because according to her, he treats both of them equally, I presume. And when he doesn't know where <clears throat> one of them is, me get left sexually based on what she's saying <laughs> because he member dead. Because in brain mess up, I wonder where she did, the other one there. So in, in essence, I'm affected <laughs> negatively by him having this other woman. She's not saying she's 100% comfy with it, but she's going to start over, find one next man. You know, mm -hmm. she's not no certainty about that. And as it is right now, this one treats her well, and he is respectful, so she really wished to stay in it. Yeah. However, the twist of it all is that New Year coming up, She's going to be older. She wants to start a family, you know, get married, start her family. And she not intend to be shearing her man at that time. So to me, it sounds like a sh him she want. Because she not plan to shear him come next year. Hmm. Now, if the man needs peace and time, they start out himself <laughs> and deal with 
who he want to deal with, what she going to do. Will she be sitting down to wait on him? Better. Yeah? At the same time, the fact that for him, member can't stand up when the other one can't be found. <laughs> she have another guest coming because clearly, him and she to me, not upon the same wavelength. Mm. Because if it is that she can't be found and him have the other one, you know what? When she come around, she just come back around, right? No, I'm going to focus on moms and moms, everything like that. Moms so, one you know, and moms two. Yeah, moms, right. So moms one and two. So moms one gone, moms two can't satisfy me. I'm good. Yeah. But remember dead, him pop down, him dance dead. No, that's not relevant. Him dance dead. It's not relevant. There was a circumstance no, that, that, that... You know, I have no dance period. Anyway, <laughs> dance not, never even occur. So <laughs> she now has to stop to think. Really and truly, I'm getting older. And this man here now, when he can't find him other woman, he might droop over and... You know, kind of satisfy me and all these things. Mm. That's food for thought, right there, so you know. Yeah? Food for thought, right there, so. Take it up for me, please, Cassidy. So, she wants to know now if we think she should tell him that she knows it all. Of course. Tell him what you know. Tell him that you know everything we're going on. Because maybe he thinks that she has it, that she's the only one. Apparently. No one and only. No, 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 no. Tell him you know about moms too, because I guess I mean moms one. <laughs> but tell him you know about the other person. Yeah? And give him the ultimate. Well, <clears throat> if you love him enough to want to make him choose, by all means. If you choose, because clearly she choose him, but him no must choose she. True that. So to find out where his decision lies and you deal with that. If not, you move right along, sister. Because quite frankly, if you have to want to know, when you're getting for yourself, so they want to have time before another mom's come to the picture. That's my view. That's the rule where you say. Uh, yeah, yeah, go too fast. Yeah, go too fast. Yeah, go too mm -hmm. fast on the matter. I mean, uh, you see, you have to know to take things easy, you know, mm -hmm. clear. No, I mean. Give him time and space, right? No, the, the, the man don't need no time and no space. The man have the, man have the time and him have the space mm -hmm. already. Because if, if he can't kind of bounce the two of them and everybody comfortable and all right. No! Pause, you're wrong. My girl not getting a starting out. No, there was a circumstance where he said maybe she the other one gonna get started exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> but him can't even manage to them either. But she said, but remember, you know, him is a jealous man. And, and, and that are probably the and reason that's why. why. go on so because he can't find another chick man in jealous. Yeah, because. With she too. But so he want having cake and nerve it at the same time. It can't work. You want L.A. Lewis it. <laughs> it cannot work. But, I mean, all right. How, I uh, me, 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 me think one of the biggest disadvantages which she have right now is actually knowing. She think it's an advantage. I think it's a disadvantage. Advantage, me think it is. You think it's an advantage, man. I think it's a disadvantage. When you are in the know, you make informed decisions. Which she has already made an informed decision by staying there, by being in it. Mm. Yes, yeah, she could have left. That's a temporary situation. No, she could have left because I, I just you now say she want a, she want a youth and she want to settle down, you know. Because remember now, she have a psychological disadvantage of her not wanting to to start over not wanting to f f f explore something she needs the, to the, the, work the, the, on her brain and the her uncertainty mind and her that exists right because she can deal with this man you know? just just like the first example when we tell about um the sister in where she have her have her spiegel and she left her spiegel take up her next man and the next man you know after she pregnant him decides the boy him no one have nothing to do with her you know i think she's playing it safe the problem with me have is say uh, this this um ultimatum thing. Once you bring ultimatum, I'm sure say the brother got us cut him in because she kinda a mash up the comfort zone right there. So. Mm -hmm. There's a comfort zone. So the man don't know, you are play fool for catch wise. <coughs> you know want the man for yourself. Or you're you going to make a proposal to him. You're going to propose to him. Say, Bossy, I want a youth and I want to settle down with you. Because you, you have to go on like you don't know nothing, you know. Now, if you're going like you don't know nothing, all you're going to reveal say so you know something. And then, how, <laughs> how long now you know something and I live with it? So, why now all of a sudden you want. Well, as again, too, when you talk about space, she never give him space, she never give him time. 
จะว่ายิมไทม์โนฟิอินไมวิวอีควาลิโอชีโนอัฟเดทิงบิคาอิซาบามโชว์จับปานิมอีควาลิโนโอชีโนอบอดเซบอยเดมันอาวะอูมานาโรดชินิฟิกิมไทม์ฟิเวนต์ลิเซบอยอินโอเซชิโนกาอบูเอนจิงเกตบูเอโนเวนอ Hmm. Once you reveal that the old man life mash up, him thing get boring. It is no longer a secret. The excitement out I'm um, gone. So you have to make up your mind. Maybe both of you are are are, are the love triangle is a, is really the tower of strength. Hmm. See me. So when when it, when it mash up now, when you go mash it up now, tell the man say boy you want a youth. You could have taken the youth you know, without the other part. You know. <laughs> <laughs> she could have taken the youth <laughs> without the other part. Mm. Because maybe this virgin is not ready for second down, or he might feel some kind of infidelity because I'm infidelity right now. You know. mm, what is it? You know, married. I'm infidelity. You what know. is it? You might explore. Mm hmm. You know, and she a explore too because obviously, when when she knows say, him, him have somebody, where when when him not around she, he possibly around the other person, and she know that and I work with it, she must have get some kind of kink out of that. Clearly, right. So why why you go want to mash out that that right now? Mm. You know? But you see, she can't stay at that level for the rest of her life. She needs to I elevate. I agree. I agree with that. But there are two things where I mash her up. One, the man I treat her good. Two, him not disrespect her. Treating her good can mean say, you know, financially supportive. Send on it, it, thousand US and all these things. Yeah, that the money last week. Or it's money. Me lose. Me sorry, I'll bring up that. You know. So he's treating her fine. He, he might treat her fine. She's she. That could be the toughest v decision v v because you're being treated right. well. All right. Think about it. Why reinvent the wheel? <laughs> you know. Right. Why reinvent the wheel? If 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 the man find a way to make things balance and you. Genuinely, all right. See, even except for the fact that you know what I go on. What if you never know what I go on? Mm. And the man treat you same. You'd have been way. okay with it, eh? Should all right. So, me not me, 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 me not think say, she need at this time, unless she decides she go, she go left because the man I forgot find a way not to left the other woman, you know. Mm -hmm. No, you see when him left the other woman there, you see the art ache. Me can't tell you something about 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 about, about, about left in woman and break it up with them. I want the wickedest thing for a man when he left a woman where, where, where she did and a ball to him. Wicked for you know. <laughs> no, because we left you. Means that we call. Cool. It's not the ball in it, boy. I'm not about Father Castle, but I can't deal with you, no, Castle. <laughs> like when they left me, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Oh, boy. That's the sweetest thing, Papa. When the when, when woman then decides, the boy, no, then the arm, um, they don't want this. Okay, and see me? Yeah, man. You know, you know, you never hurt them. Okay. And then y'all pretend like you hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening for that part. I was listening for that part. Yeah, man, you go on like you hurt, man. I said, boy, you know, my girl, why you do this? You know, so I love you. You see me? So, she I put him in a position of to break a heart. Mm. And you can't have well, a Well, if she's not going to tell him, I remember, you know, I remember, you know, she don't say, Two woman, there's no side chick. So you want the man left him, woman? <laughs> In my view, there is a side chick. Whether you Where? believe it or not. Who was first is a woman. Who is second is a side chick. Well, that, well, in a, in, a, in, a, in a fair view, there's none. There's none. But then if she decides to move on with her life and mm. to get married and whatever, and she's, she's going to have to come to him oh, with a story. Oh, she's move on. This is a, a jealous man. You know, I pray that part. Yeah, tell, that's what I'm saying now. Tell him that you know what is happening so he makes a decision. Is he going to be with you or be with she because you don't want to well, keep that the rest of your life? Well, that you, know that, you know that in some African society where they get married and, but, and, 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 understand, but that and polygamy she, and but, all but these things. But that things. if she want to leave and I use reverse psychology upon him. Because if she want to leave, you know, she fling out that card upon him. Mm -hmm. Yo, my dad, I know, say, boy, you want to re re there, you know. Right. At the same time, if she wants to be herself, she can still try to do it. Make up your mind where you are dealing with her. Saying, 
she have to go deep that with her if she want left. Right? If make or the man, if make she wants him to let go the, one. The dolly pot mash up. Yeah, or also could be where she wants him to let go one, choose, choose she, mm. and let go the other one. So she's going to tell him well, straight up. No, but I that she has said, but me I said, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Because he's going to say, all along you know about it. Well, well, he doesn't know that she knows about it. He doesn't know right now. But if she, she asks the question, I don't know. What we think about the whole thing and should she redeem our secret, which is mm. theme secret? Let him know and let him know where you stand, where you're looking, where your prospects are. From his response to you, darling, you will see if he's at the same place with you or not. Because if the man up on a different level with My you, girl, you she can't. Forgot, hold on, hold on, she forgot to decide. She's going to stay with him and him two women and, and take the good treatment. Or she's going to take a risk and go and say, look, I kind of want to start my family. I want to get married. But this guy whom I love and re really want that way, have two away, doesn't decide to let go anybody. She has to know way what she really got to settle for. And settling, and by settling, settling, I don't mean that one is, one is, one is good and one is say bad. It's based on what she wants. But from what I'm gathering, she wants the marriage thing and the settling down thing with him. If him not prepared to give that to her, because he's going to say, all along, if he even revealed it to him and said, this is how I go on. He might think and say, but wait, all along, she know now, so this, mm. this is a go on. And she's sticking at it. Why all of a sudden, no, she want, whatever, change, the change to come. Why? She get Older and mature. Older art is another man out there too. It could be in his head that is another man she find or something she want to try and move on. So she'll come, now, come try and break up my thing now when she didn't know all along and I keep it a secret and I work with it. So why she want to come change now? So she have to decide. She can't make him choose for her in that sense. Right now, straight up, straight up, um, my sister, you yeah, mash up with Dolly Pat. You yeah, mash up with Dolly Pat and once Dolly Pat mash up, you know, <laughs> saying it to him, all right, hear what happened. You see, if you tell him, he does part mash up. Because him not have that, that egotistic control anymore, you know. Nope. Right? Him not no have that no more. How long she know right? about this? Right. And, and him not go feel comfortable yeah. anymore. Yeah, very discomforting. If he say, boy, him gone over there, so. Yep. Him missing out. Him can no longer say, boy, him a work late, him a play football. Him, 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 him a go down the country for the weekend. Him can no longer say them something there. See? So, right away, the whole edginess of that um, secret and rendezvous where this Aboriginal have gone in vibes dead. At that time, in vibes are gone dead. Mm. See? So, you would have to make up your mind. So, once you reveal that secret, the repercussion will go up. Yep. The other part now, my girl, you say you want him for yourself. How are you going to do that? Because, as I say, if you tell him, you kind of mash up that little ego thing there. Well. But then, no, if you go say, boy, you want a youth and you want a family, is it that say, boy, you go give him the ultimatum for say, come married with you, but you go going to have sheep, him in a, him in a fair life on the side? So she turn side chick, no. No. The other one turn, turn side, side chick. chick. See? Well, but you, you, well, you know, think, no? The side chick might be in a fair mind because the man might still treat, treat her good the same way. So well, the part they are work. Those they can't work in a man. So me no know my well, girls can't work. You have it rough. You say up oh, this way. You say you have some man interested in you. Open your options. I right? got, I got, I got yeah. options. Yes, open your options, my <laughs> girl. Straight up. You have got, you have got to like with the sister in my brethren. Kind of go on, mouse round, mouse round, mouse round. And when you find out, say boy, well, yes, that's my dear. Can work with then. You, you, you either you're gonna drop the bomb or you're gonna just request some space. And it's all in all a gamble, to be very honest yeah. with you. Just that we not prepare ourselves to deal with the losses sometimes. You know, because we're Carla say. Eh? Yeah. Carla says, true daddy road. Poor thing, she needs to wake up. <laughs> that means that the other woman him really wants. So why is she still there? Is it's still there when it's obvious not leaving, not leaving the other woman. He not left none. And the other woman he really want for true because he dance not dead for she no, and no, not no. for the other no, one. Me feel so if I, no, I feel so if she do the same thing, the vibes all there. <laughs> I'm an idiot, man. You have too much something, man. You, you know, know what I mean? You have too much something I'm going to write this up. What you have to tell her? Tell her already. Tell the man what I'm going to tell the man what you want. Make a decision for you. 
if staying and you're okay with what I'm going to go on with, with you when you're married and all these things, if he marries you, then that's your choice. But if you really don't want that no more, and you want to take a risk and let go for the nice treatment and find somebody for yourself, you're going to have to make that choice there. Well, my girl, as I said, I don't think if you tell him nothing, open the options them, you know, kind of middle run and mess around and try and meet Tell him, meet, stick meet and stay, people. but meet other people. Yeah. You know, meet other people. Don't tell him. Tell don't him. tell him. Tell him. You know what, I say not tell him. Man. Tell no. him, I say. See, so the man understand where you're coming me, from. May I encourage you not because to tell him. Because you know, she really, really can't stand the fuck, say. You have another woman. No, oh, she yeah, a true, because she's not 100% exactly, comfortable. Exactly, she's a killer. Yeah, she's not 100% comfortable. My girl, to thine own self be true. Stop living the lie. My girl. If that hurt you, tell them how you feel. Sister, you don't no need to tell them nothing. At the end of the day, she'll go and burn, 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 that's something that they're going to end up left her My girl, way me I tell and gone to somebody else. No, then that's why she feel open the avenue. Because, but tell them doing that. No, tell because, him. no, remember, you know, Zane, this man obviously... Have a, is an is a ego trip. You see, once she know, the part the marshal. So at that time, he go left she. You know why I make a man have that, my girl? Well, if he want to leave, then we'll check your hand if he stop him. Clear no know nothing about roughings, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and me, me, me as a whole ruffian. You know what I mean? Boop, 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 lad. Sister, see? tell him me what I want to hear. Tell him what I want to hear. Normally at night time, when the, close, when, when the show are closed, I say, no. Nah. Me, I tell you, follow me. Not tell him nothing. The tell man never like you off. Open up some little reasoning and them thing there. Talk and to if a him few so people. jealous, he will come hurt you. Me tell the man talk, what is going talk on. Talk to a few people. Before you make any decision. You see, you, 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 you see when tell things him how you feel. look prospective and like you want to jump over there, so, boop, you drop the boom on him. Because me, I tell you, he might go left you. And you just organize a way where him left you. You get all miserable. You get can't make him can't turn you. No more. <laughs> See? You start call, call him phone, <laughs> ring when you're out, with, with your nose and where you're there. You know what I mean? At that, you have to do my girl. Take it from me. Real talk. Till him dance just dead down and can't bother. What do you mean? Mash him up back. <laughs> Meet him. I hear you, Daddy Road. Oh, boy. You know what, guys? We've come to the end of another Real Talk tonight. And, of course, we're glad you've been able to join us and to stick and stay with us right throughout every single time, every single week. Um, big ups to Kevoy. I think that's the first time I'm seeing Kevoy from Sunny Hill in, I think, St. Thomas. Yeah? Yeah, Sunny Hill. And, of course, big ups to all our people, all our friends who tune in every single week. We really, really appreciate it so very much. Um, we pray and hope that your holiday season will be great. We hope that um, the day that is this, um, designed as the 25th, uh, as Christmas Day, you'll have a very good day with your friends and your family and your loved ones. All right? Be safe on the road. And until next week, Friday, on behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, um, and my co-host, Daddy Rood, I just, just want to say big ups, big ups to Pitbull, Sean, my dog, Roof, 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 yeah? And, of course, big ups to the beautiful lady in his life who makes him his better half. <laughs> yeah. That is, of course, Vanier. Sinclair. Big up yourself over there, girl, in Man. Manhattan. All right? Big ups every single time to you. And to all our people out there, once again, please be safe this holiday season and live good, love somebody, share with somebody, and give more because it's more blessed to give than to receive. Until next week, guys, happy, happy holidays. Love you all. Big up my wife for life. Yep. Merry Christmas to all visiting Jamaicans. It's glad you don't come out of the freezer to enjoy warm Jamaica.